Right, sessions. I'm going. I'm going to start a new career. New career test. What's this? Twitch career. Here's my Twitch career. Oh, hang on. I haven't done the difficulty yet. Twitch career. Let me bin that. We'll bin that. We'll do it. We'll do it again. New session. Right. Twitch career. Confirm. Tutorial. No. Right, difficulty, here we go. Let's see, standard, comfort, real. I'm thinking realistic, but <clears throat> I want to be able to keyboard drive. So that that's the, if we can copy the, create a new difficulty preset. I want to copy that, but I add keyboard driving. I don't mind, okay, multi-servicing, fine. Remote switching, comms. Remote coupling off, so that's fine. Max copay, five million dollars. <laughs> We're gonna have to create a custom preset. Uh, we'll call it uh, Squirrel Realism. <laughs> oh, I can't spell. What's a keyboard? Squirrel Realism. There we go. And we'll turn on keyboard driving. So driving UI will be off. External view off. Allow viewing trains in the world outside of the driver's point of view. Also enables photo mode. Oh, you see, I don't... Mm, I, I quite like having that. That's annoying. Remote sign reading. Don't mind not having that. Remote coupling. Don't mind not having that. Uh, I don't know about this. It's literally forcing you to first person only. Mm. We'll leave them as they are. That's fine. I don't normally play with mods now. Need to complete the game once before you can do custom difficulties. Of course, of course, realistic. Yeah, I the, the problem is, it's like, I don't... I understand why it's not allowed. It makes sense. It's like first person only. But I, I like having it on just so that we can have an external view and look at scenery. That's the only reason I'd have it on. Not so I can make the job easier, just so that I can, you know what I mean? Just not having that camera will be a bit, eh. We need external view for atmosphere. Yeah. We'll, we'll turn them back on. I'm going to leave them back on. I don't think they're making life unduly easy, but I'll leave all that as it is. We'll do with that. Difficulty. Oh, I can't anyway by the look of it. I can't choose my own custom one yet anyway. Because I have to complete it on a normal first. I think, yeah, I think I can't choose it, can I? Because I haven't done it in normal yet. What's standard look like? Easy. I think I have to complete it on any difficulty and then I can choose my new preset, I believe. Is that right? You don't have to use it, but I'd like to see it. What's that? Oh yeah, I forgot about all those. Hang on. Squirrel realism. <clears throat> I don't think I can choose this anyway. Um, powertrain failures, traction failures, all the failures. Worn heavy train. <laughs> Remote braking. Head, head brake lamp. Flash the brake lamp. Oh yeah, yeah, handbrake. Automatic handbrake off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuck brakes. So you've got to do all that stuff. You need to have all the licenses on any, any difficulty. Yeah, I think... I don't think I can just load my legacy one in, can I? How's the weather in lakes? Uh, it was actually very nice. It was. It would rain almost every day. But it was like light rain, and then it would just go away. And the sun would come out almost every day. It was great. Repair cost 100%. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm going to have to put it on standard then, annoyingly. Oh, no, I sod it. Let's just do realism. Day duration, two hours. Hardcore saving. Hardcore saving, yes. Oh. Hang on. What does hardcore saving mean again? Hang on, put 
yourself one. Limit the saving to a single file that is frequently overwritten, intended for hardcore players who don't want a second chance. Emergency backup file is available on the drive just in case. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> legacy save works without any problems. Yeah, I know the legacy save works, but I can't choose my... Look, if I choose... What I want to do is choose this, but I want to put my own difficulty level, and I can't. Because I think I have to finish the game first on any difficulty before I can then choose a custom difficulty. Do you get what I mean? You probably don't have the SO6 on the Legacy. Well, I could... Legacy Session. I think that was my... Is that my old one? Hang on, let me load that. Yeah, 1.1 million. This is my old one. If I go and buy the license, it might unlock it. You can just set your difficulty, press done, and it's going to take the settings. No, I, it won't let me create... I can create a custom difficulty setting, but I can't apply that to my um, my new session. How was the Parasur Show? Parasur Show was actually really good, but it was so hot. Oh, my God, it was so tiring. <laughs> frames. Can I have some frames? Any chance of some frames? Frames, please. We're getting there. Let's see what licenses I don't have on this save. All right, where's my wallet? If, let's see what happens if I can buy these. Um, fees not cleared. Really? Oh, because that stupid thing's running. <laughs> it will take your settings, never do less standard is that set bar. I'm not sure what you mean. Wait, how does that work? I jump in and the pla and it stops. Return to vehicle to... What? Why am I on a tutorial? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what? I just loaded a legacy save. <laughs> I'm in a tutorial. What the heck? Bro. <laughs> I know I need to buy all licenses custom, which is what I'm trying to do, but it won't let me even get... Oh, hang on. I can get out of the cab one sec. No, I can't leave the area. I, I have to do the tutorial. <laughs> yeah, but if I do that, Jappymon, I won't have the money. This control operates the light. Okay. Press space to continue. Oh, my God. I think it's going to make me do this, isn't it? Can, can you do that? Settings, tutorial. Can you abort the tutorial? This is not starting out how I thought it would. I don't know how I bought the tutorial. What does it want me to do?
I'm pressing space, dude. Space also makes me jump. Escape and select tutorial. Turn off, off, off. Can I just say bought? I bought an ongoing tutorial. Woohoo! Let's go! <laughs> Stuff I never even touched when I had access to the beta. Right, let's, uh... Wait, did I just leave that on? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it off. Turn it all off. Where's the fuel cut off? Okay, right. Where's my wallet? Cool. Right, licenses. That one. That's all the licenses, isn't it? Everything. Why do you have two tags as educational? Because my streams are like educational times two. They're not just normal educational streams. They are doubly educational. That's what it is. Because I will educate you and the experts in chat will also educate you. So you get two times the education of any other stream on Twitch. Guaranteed results. No refunds accepted. Right, uh, let's change that to all licenses. Okay, I wonder if that means I can now go back to the main menu. You can feel the education flow, exactly. Right, so if I go to Twitch career, delete that. I'll create a new one, try again. Twitch career, no tutorial. Hey, now we can do it. Squirrel realism. There we go. So our squirrel realism settings are normal realism. But that's going off. Limit session. Time limit your session. The heck? What's all that about? Tone rain. Weather editor off. Fine. Weather speed change. Okay. Fast travel paid only. Dash distance short. That's going to burn. What do you mean time of day? Allow changing time of day. Yeah, well, you got to you got to leave that off. Otherwise, it, like the whole point of it being difficult is the weather and the daytime will change. Summon maximum cost 10k. Allow clearing of derail vehicles before re-railing them. That sounds like cheating. Yeah, okay, everything's on 100%. All the warnings are turned off. That's hard. That's all hard. Right, so this is basically realistic, but keyboard driving external view is allowed, because I like those, and hardcore saving is off, because, well, I'm going to save scum it. Not really. <laughs> right, click on done. Save. Twitch career. Uh -huh. I think we're done. Let's go. What about time of day? Time of day was off. Yeah, which means I can't change it. I can't just make it morning every time I want to. That's what that's for. I've got a whole bunch of resubs and stuff to read through. There's so many of them. <laughs> yeah, if I if I press the Alt key, you see I don't have the ability to change the time of day or the weather. You see? When you're ready, you can get your first delivery. I know that. Why are you giving me tutorials?
Does it always do this? Oh, it's like being back in the Lake District. Not really. It, it never actually rained this hard in the Lake District. I like the sound of that. Right, uh, I'm going to try and read some resubs quickly. Uh, Matty was the first thing with 81 months, and then we had Aussie Train Man 24, that's two years, Melting Lab with 863, Rich B 65, Mr. Wowsers with a year, Skytop three years, ad free, Will Hedges 27 months, Ben GT was 73, and a tier two. Welcome back, thank you, Ben GT. Calder Depot 59, Rutiger 16, Club Villain with 27. Alpha Whiskey 51, Dutch TS 45, Bit Too Fast with 104, K Kenders with 29, finally my favourite TV channel is back, uh, D Storm with a tier 3, almost 4 years, good to see you back, hope you enjoyed the air show on vacation, I did, I've got pictures, I just haven't got them off my phone yet, uh, T Bell 86, NX with 47, Mr Kieran dropped 15 subs on the chat, thank you very much Kieran, about 20 minutes ago. Thank you very much for that. Ryan Craig with 52. Crab with 79. Uh, Sora Dude with 30 months. Enceladus with 111. 111 months. In French, that probably would be something like 111. They, they, their numbers are so weird. Matthew, thank you for nine months. Wicked Smart with 15. Firefighter with 102. Welcome back, Nutty Overlord. When, were, were you able to get flying during your time off? I was in the late district, man. You've been playing Diablo 4. Boom. <laughs> I played all the Diablos, but I'm staying away from 4. TG Fan, thank you for two years. Benno, thank you for 84. Uh, D Camel with four years. Happy anniversary. Another month in the bag. Uh, the Red Mustang with four months on Twitch, but many years on YouTube. Thank you, sir. Fat Boy, 23 months. Rutiger gifted a sub to Drash. Is that what we say it? Uh, Bud Knights, thank you for subbing. Welcome. Uh, Lars Morona with seven months. McZlick with 90. Ten Twitch babies. Yikes. Trucker Bill with 29 months. The Lord and Saviour is back. Oh, Kronaki in 77. Crusade with 46. Dyslexic Hacker with 42. Bob's 38. Phil 93 with 104. Miss Olya with 90. ASC with 22 months. Rusty Skills with 15. Welcome back. Jeez, I'm still like 18 minutes behind here. This is insane. Fire Tiger, 53. <laughs> Norris with six months. Sensei Johnny with 22. With realistic crashes, damages, and fires, but we need to save the squirrels. Absolutely. There's always a squirrel tax. Uh, Andy, 225. Thank you for 84 months, Andy. Cynic with 10 months. Uh, how do we say that? Skya? Skya CM with two years. Thank you very much. Food Brown with 86, still gunning for 100. SMD with 44, Network with 59, Echolos with 91. Uh, keep, keep the sub going. You've had a look, hope you had a lovely holiday. Thank you, sir. Uh, Den Den, thank you for two months. Is this image a live camera from England? Yes. Uh, Big Drama Drew. With nine months, Lone Wolf with 43, R34 Drift with 25, Nyman with 37, Benrith with 17, Henry with 83, Craigasus with 18, Husky Military Gaming with one year of watching great content, keep up the great work, uh, and you can just keep moving away from the vehicle and it will cancel the tutorial. Thank you very much. Bearded Frodo, 18 months, True Fury with 10, Raw James with 74. Legal Eagle with 39. We're nearly done. Dirty Drew, 69. T-Rex Feed, 55. Captain Jack, 81. Casper Corn, 53. Tin Man, 31. Newsy with 95. Another resub rolls around. Uh, Guardian, Amp, 18 months. Baz with 96. Close to 100, just like Rome. Raz, 26. And Technically Kind, Tier 2, 30 months. Welcome back. Thank you very much, guys. Woof. <laughs> That's what happens when you go away. Dear. Right, uh, so I guess... Oi, stop it, Jappymon, 76. 
Owned train driver freight hall shunting for a thousand. Do we have any money at all? Hang on. All my um, inventory slots are going to be messed as well. That can go in there. Don't need that. That can put over here. Lock that in there. Station map. Okay, so one, two, three. Looks good. Current money, $2,000. Active orders, none. Copay. Fee tolerance, 5000 Where did I go? I went to the Lake District for a week. I did miss one, actually. Blisk Q, thank you for four months. <laughs> uh, right, so we could, in theory... We could pick up shunting if we want to. Our copay is currently 100, so we need to try and max that out. We can only build up $5,000 of fees. Uh, isn't the wallet better in slot one? One is always this for me. Why would I want quick access to my wallet when I use this way more than my wallet? This, this, and this is always my first three. Um probably want that there. I might want that there, actually. Let's see. I might reverse them. Just stay in a caravan. No, I got an Airbnb. We, um, we had a... Uh, not a cottage. It was a three-bed, like terrace property with a big garden um, in a place called Back Barrow and it but the cool thing about it was it had access to there was like a hotel nearby that has a wonderful spa swimming pool sauna jacuzzi squash courts tennis courts and you and we got complete free access to that so I was in the swimming pool almost every day and then in the sauna in the jacuzzi it was great fun out for long walks, went all around Windermere, Coniston. Yeah, it's great. Back Barrow's 25 minutes from where you live. Nice. Uh, Danny QFG, thank you for 49 months. No worries. Right, logistic call. What have we got here? So you've got shunting, which you don't have a license for. 1100 tons uh, but we're on the flat so we can probably get away with it 45 grand flip it back like. 45 grand for an unloading and storing scrap metal the only problem is that is so long that when we go that way it actually slopes down a bit and the D2 will probably struggle. I assume they've left us a D2 here somewhere. Oh, look out. That's the maximum distance I can go. Look at that. I can't go any f any quicker than that. Mm. They've left us a D2 and a Steam, which I can't use. Lovely. Oh, guys, I went to... Um, it was called Lakeside and Haverthwaite Railway. And I went on a steam train. Um, I've got I've got loads of picks. I'll need to get them off my. Uh, whoops. I need to get them off my uh, phone. What have, I just, what have I just done? What? Have I, <laughs> I don't know what I've just done, but I'm. <laughs> I'm kind of leaning. <laughs> what did I just do? My phone fell on my keyboard. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <sighs> Um, let me have a look. I went to on a steam train, and then I also went inside. This is really cool. Where's it gone? 
we had free access inside the engine shed. And so I was... Let me get this picture up. Uh, probably here. There you go. So there's like... There was this one which was outside. That was being cleaned. You see the front is open on it? That was being cleaned. And there's a... I have a video. That was like down the... Down the side there. And then... There's the guy. See the guy's cleaning out the uh, smoke area at the front there. <laughs> Where's Chris? I don't know. There was so much cool stuff around. Like they had... They had all these uh, spare wheels just lying around. It's just mad. Great place. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, this steam train. I put my hand... I put my hand next to the wheel. Just to give you some scale for how big this thing was. Absolutely huge. There you go. That's inside the shed. Uh, this this is a steam train with no boiler and no control desk. You see it? It's just been like ripped apart. All the boilers missing off it. But you see the uh, you see the the um, at, down at the bottom there, the actual piston part of it, where the steam goes and pushes the wheels. I had a look. I had a look because the front cover was off it, so that's what it looks like down the inside. That's where the steam goes. And then pushes the piston, which turns the wheel. So I took a photograph. Real nerdy thing to do. But that one was built, look. That was built in Crewe in 1950, that steam train. And then, this, this is cool. Look at this. This is so recognisable from Derail Valley. Look at that. Like, apart from the chimney bit on the front there that is almost identical to the to the train from Dero Valley the loco from Dero Valley it's mad isn't it look at that I tried to take a photo of where is it oh, I tried to take a photo of the inside console but they weren't very good so that one was built in Oh, what have I just done? You scumbag. Hang on. That was built in Doncaster in 1959, I think it was. Yeah, there it is. You could just make out the, the writing there. Built in Doncaster, 1959 there. I didn't get to drive one, no. I, went, I was a passenger. Yeah, that's where I tried to take a photo of the inside cab. There's the handbrake. I can show you that. Inside that DM3 looking machine. Um, but yeah, I, I stuck my camera through the window and tried to photograph the inside, but it didn't come out very well. That was a slightly better shot. If you look at it, I think those handles on the left there, I think they're the gearbox selectors. You know, the two handles on the DM3 fairly sure that's what they are on the left and then there's that beauty look at that I think that's a class is that a class um, 30 or something it's like a really old one class 20 yeah really old and then there's that one Which is nice and then I got to I think it was outside there you go this this is just inside the engine shed you just walk around just have a look at stuff it's all things they're working on or like renovating and they even had look at this they even had <laughs> I don't know how old that is but it looks like I don't know the 40s maybe it's just insane. A steamroller? <laughs> just bonkers. I even had this lovely truck. Look at this truck here. 
That truck there. I've got, I think I've got another picture of it. That's what's written on the side. Hudson Engineers. And if I zoom in, can I read that? It says, original, get this, original 14-litre, six-cylinder Hercules diesel, 201 brake horsepower. Replaced at some time by Hudson's with a 12-litre, six-cylinder Cummins diesel, 220 brake. Has a fuller four-speed transmission, reverse main gearbox, and three-speed auxiliary with low direct and overdrive gears. Top speed... What do you think the top speed of that was? Top speed, 33 miles per hour. Fuel consumption, driven very carefully, might achieve six miles per gallon. <laughs> six miles per gallon. And then outside, they have this one, which is beautiful. So that one's in operation at the moment. And then, that's the actual <coughs> station there. And that's if you look the other way. Ba basically, this goes to the bottom of Windermere. Windermere Lake. Uh, and that's what Pippa thought about it, the, the whole train thing. Uh, not really a steam train lover, Pippa. <laughs> anyway. So that was some of the things I got up to. Now, is my chat in the right place, I wonder? Hmm. My chat better top left, possibly. That's rough up there. We can probably get away with it up there. It's going to be night time before we even start loco. I know, right? I've made a massive mistake here, haven't I? Uh, EJSA, thank you for the raid. Welcome, guys. Uh, Sniffer, thank you for 90 months. And the Bullseye, 50 from internal. And Scotty, thanks for 55. D Dutch, thank you for 52. Trains, noise. It's decide what we're going to do. Favorite loco in the game. That's a tricky one, actually. I don't know. I don't think I have a particular favorite. Oh my god, this teleportation distance is killing me. Wait, how many saves has it created? Okay, cool. So, the question is, do we do a freight haul for, let's see, what weight is that? 855 tons. Down to harbour, 43k. I tell you what, they've changed the economy a bit, because this is a lot of money. Maybe it's because I'm on hard difficulty. These, these numbers are a lot higher. Forty-one k for a load of empty cars is not a bad, but it's a logistic. And we don't have logistic. D two is nerfed a lot. Normal four hundred tons, more likely two fifty on a flat. Yeah, they completely changed the way it puts power down. Twenty grand for logistic. We ain't doing that. That's a long two, so we can't do that anyway. That's a hazmat. Right, so let me get this straight. We can't do that one. Can't do that one. That's a long one, so we can't do that one. 
Our options are a bit limited. Can't do that one. And we can't do that one. And we can't do that one. And we can't do that one. So I guess we're doing that one. <laughs> it's also saving every three minutes, but that is actually a setting. Um, I have seen it somewhere. There is a setting for that. There you are. So you can increase it to like five or whatever. You go to a different yard and do some shunting missions. Right, so there's two problems with going to a different yard. Number one is I can only teleport like one meter. And number two is it will actually cost me money to go to a different yard. That's like half my money right there. So that's, that's the issue. Because we're on a realistic difficulty thing. Uh, Fadian, thank you for 20 months. Thanks for nine, Liverpool. You have a baby cousin. <laughs> yeah, so I think we're going to have to do this one. Um, deliver steel rails to the harbour in town for a measly 12,000. Dark times. Let's go and find it. SMFH28. You can't change the teleportation distance when you're on realistic difficulty. There's the cars. Right, we can move the locomotive. Yeah, we're, we're playing it on a high difficulty setting, so it restricts what you can do quite a bit. I have a video on the steam train, Fadian, if you want to watch that. Zombie Woof, thank you very much for a sub. Tier 1, thank you. Right then. Can't wait for the change of shenanigans. What with the D uh with the DM. Yeah, the oh, I'm gonna have to reverse out of here, I think. The DM is a massive handful. Like I can't even jump in from here. Or here. I have to get there to do it. Wait, I don't even have a lantern. I just thought I don't even have a lantern. Yeah, I don't have a cab light, but I don't have a lantern. Or a torch, like a flashlight or anything. So if I need to get out and see what I'm doing at night, I don't have anything. Yeah, the non-lap braking is... Uh, the non-self-lapping brakes are a bit of a handful. Enable LED. I don't think mine does anything. <laughs> yeah, 
how much is the lantern? The DM3 will pull all day, Benno, at slow speed. The thing about the DM3 is it's like... It's a it's tricky to manage, but it can absolutely haul as long as you're not in a hurry. The lantern's five grand. Yikes. Flashlight is five, lantern's three. Okay. Can you remember which shop we get it from? Any. So you're disappointed with no capabilities of the motor D6. Um, all you need to do, Larry, is get a DE2, attach it to DE6, use the remote on the DE2, it'll operate the DE6. So just combine a DE6 with a DE2 and you'll be fine. the field of view it's not proper hacks they allowed it in the game No, there isn't one claw pepper because it, there's no like it's completely variable. Is it raining? Is it not raining? How, is your is your incline set or is it doing this? Like this? Have you got sand down? Have you not? Uh, McDean Royal, thank you for five months. Farmer Gaff, thank you for ninety. Yes, the tracks do slip when it rains. Absolutely. I showed that in one of the videos. You lose a lot of traction when it rains. And don't forget, when it stops raining, the track stays wet for quite a while. It takes time to, um, to dry. connect or was that just a what a scumbag the amount of times I do that it's unbelievable these will have the handbrake turned on, usually the one at the back. There it is. Okay, SMFH28. She's definitely them. We are going to Harbour and Town. Still not used to D2 idling at a higher RPM.
thing is, if you've never played the game before and then you just started it on Dero Valley Sim, it would be normal. Just because you've seen it change. Uh, what are we doing? This. B1. B1. Oh. Yep. Harbour and Town. E8I. Let's go. Get our speed up a bit. Turning my lights off every time I reverse. Uh, just cause, thank you for subbing, welcome. Now the lights off again. I think he keeps turning them off. Right, let's have a look at the Coming in from the west, it's the second on the right. Yeah, but Marbs, I don't understand because I'm on a realistic, realistic difficulty, so I don't know why. If I stick the reverse in reverse, it changes that one, but not that one. It might be a key conflict, is what I'm thinking. It might well be a key conflict. I had to recreate my settings because I was on, I was on the beta branch for the last few weeks while I did the videos, and I had to go on the main branch. But he told me to get rid of my preferences, which I did, and then I brought over my key bindings manually. But maybe I screwed up, and something's knocking that light off now. Or maybe he added a key binding, and it's conflicting with one of mine. Possibly. Uh, it's not stuttering for me. I don't know, is it stuttering for anybody else? It sounds like it's just your stream then. It's almost like Mrs. Squirrel just walked in wearing perfume. Maybe it's a Twitch thing then. I'm 
going to have a look at that preferences for quickly. Increase headline, keep our divide, keep our date. Oh, I think I know what's going on. I think it is a key conflict. Yeah, it is. It's, it's brought in some wit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's overridden some stuff. Okay, I need to change that. After this, I'll um, exit and change that. Some of the keys are incorrectly mapped. Yeah, of course he is. Of course he is, Pello. show your current location on realistic difficulty because I'm about here somewhere I think it's not shown where we are I need to fix that <laughs> Graphics card struck. One second. Uh, let's have a look at performance. Yeah. GPU's flatlined. I'm going to have to dial some settings back. I think it's because the, uh, the encoder chip's struggling as well. Uh, let's see. Try turning that down a little bit. There's a memory leak in the new update. I don't think it's a memory leak, I think it's the GPU. Yeah, because I'm playing the game in 4K, recording at 1440 and render and streaming at 1080, so I'm kind of using the graphics card quite a bit. The video encoder is not overloaded, but the graphics 3D render is a little bit flatlined. So if I can take some, if I can bring some setting back a little bit and take the edge off it, it usually helps. Put that to high. Okay, that's mostly giving it enough headroom, I think. Okay, how's that now? Any better?
Captain Flint, tier three. Two body positive ladies. <laughs> Two ladies that like their food. <laughs> oh man, every time I accelerate, it changes the lights. Is 4K much better than 1080? Yeah. Quite a lot. I think the first purchase might be a lantern. Thank you, Sparta. I like how pretty much all the points are set away from the harbour. And the first job you're generally going to do is to the harbour. How do you use the lantern? You basically, you can hold it or you can like put it down somewhere. It's just pretty handy. was good. Yeah, it's very um very active holiday. Did a lot of walking. Saw a lot of cool stuff. Lake District. Basically, if you know where Lake Windermere is, Lake Windermere is the largest lake in England, and we were just about 20 minutes south of it. Gallant's old glory, thank you for 16 months. I did see a lot of trains. <laughs> Actually, where we stayed, we could hear the steam train every day. It was quite cool. Every hour, we'd hear it go past. You'd hear the... <laughs> and if you looked out the window, you could just see the steam rising. Yeah, pretty much. It, like, we took the dogs. It was the first doggy proper holiday for them. So they got to walk around loads of places. Waterfalls, lakes. Um, areas of outstanding natural beauty. Like, you know, you name it. Quite a bit. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's quite a few heritage steam trains running. love this it says 60 60 on your left turn like heck it is sixty. Oh, we meant 40 Wobbling's a bit, a little bit overdone. I don't know. Like, people who play this in VR, I wonder if they enjoy it. <laughs> turn that setting off. I might just turn it off. Where is it? And uh, game. What's the option? It's a head bob. It's lean toggle. You can't disable it, it's just how they've done it. <laughs> There's no option. So Mr. Drummer, where's that setting again? Thank you for 19 months. Okay, we're going left. should put lights on each of these um, switches. Uh, Cambosil, thank you for three months. Oh yeah, the harbour looks great at night. It really does. What about that? Uh oh, can't see what I'm doing. <laughs>
think we said second on the right, didn't we? Which means that one more, I think. And that one more. Heat 8i. Looks correct. You don't need to put the handbrake on, but probably not a bad shelter. <laughs> Get paid. I haven't tested that nerdy, so I don't know. grand we now have 20 smackaroonies 21 minutes bonus time 72 nice <coughs> okay first thing I'm gonna do what did I remap that key to Item. Yeah. I got to fix some key bindings here. Let me save it. I need to fix these key bindings. I don't use V, I use T key. A second. I don't know how these got reset. Oh, you're kidding me. The injector and stuff has all been mapped. Let's try that. Uh, I'm not, well, I'm using a custom difficulty, so I'm using realism, but tweaked very slightly so I can use keyboard. There we go. Uh, Nikolai, thank you for 25 months. Connor, 18 months, uh, went away to Blackpool on holiday and conquered my fear of roller coasters by going on the big one. Do you know what? The big one is actually really tame. Like, when you've been on other stuff, the big one is just like, 
Yeah. But for somebody that's got a fear of roller coasters, well done. You blacked out twice on the big one. <laughs> what? You're not thinking the revolution, are you, Crab? The big one literally just goes like that. What's our fees on? 7,400. Ouch. $100 to clear them. Right. All right. Uh, right. We don't need. Can't do that. We could do that if we had shunting. Definitely not going to happen. Uh, long one's not going to happen. How much is long one again? Is it 20 grand? 10 grand. Hazmat, not going to happen. Well, if we wanted long, we could do that. Been on Oblivion at Alton Towers. Yeah, last time I went on Oblivion, um, the ride got stopped and it was chucking it down with rain. That was fun. Like, really fun. Just sat in the rain. Dolly's sat in here with me. She does this. She leaves Dolly with me and she doesn't actually tell me that he's here. And then I just hear these random noises. I'm like, what is that? Look around the corner. It's just Doyle. Holiday was good. Thank you, Robert. 38 months. Yeah, I got some good photos of Doyle as well. It's not going to happen. That requires a shunting, that requires shunting. That's my three. Right, so the choices are either we get the shunting license and we do some of the shunting. The one on the right pays pretty well. Considering you get 162 minutes to do it, but you got to go from the machine factory in town. Wait a minute. I'm not a store train with new cars. Okay, it came from Machine Factory. Yeah, fine. So that's probably put three drop offs. Bunch of cars in different places. 22 grand. Quite a good payout, that one. Um, Steel Mill is the one we just did. That's 14 grand to move them. We're already attached to them in theory. Yeah, I know the food factory one pays the best, but the food factory one means driving all the way to the food factory. It's like, how long is that going to take compared to that one? How long do you think it will take? So, like, if I can do that, but it'll take me 20 minutes or even longer, but I can do that, it'll take me 10 Therefore, the price per minute is way more on that one than that one. But I'm thinking we can probably do this and this. Like we've got, what, 162 minutes to do them, and we're already attached to this one? We know where they are. we just got to drop them off somewhere. So I'm thinking we just take shunting and take these two. They've made something harder sometimes than a wagon's buried that you need to fetch. Well, I know that's not true of that one. And I know it's not true of that one because they're unload jobs. So that will have come in as a consist, I think. If it's like an assembly one, a logistic assembly, then that used to happen anyway. You'd often have to pull a car out the way to get the one you want. So they didn't change that, I don't think. All these requires to get long one license. So I think what we'll do is we'll take this. We'll take this. We'll grab this one first. 
yeah, exactly. The time bonus is massive. So it's not it's not like we're not gonna do it. Denied. Of course it's denied, I didn't buy the license. Oh, I've got to clear the fees through the license. Scumbag game. Woo! We can now go shunting. Okay. Funny enough, they're at E8I. Okay, so unload cargo to D7L. Fine. Wait, is there a shop here? Can't see a damn thing. Can't remember if Arbor actually has. It does have a shop, doesn't it? It's over next to E. Thought he was here somewhere. There it is. Right, two thousand for a lantern. Of that plus. Why do I need a lighter? I don't need a lighter yet. I'm not going to actually start a steam train. <laughs> I can get one. It's only $150, but I don't think I need it. Oh, it's a light, light lantern, of course. we need pocket watch would be nice but five grand meh flashlight would be nice but five grand meh we'll just go with that for now i know but it's five thousand dollars it's a, it's a huge thing big chunk of change the, the remote control you can get but you get it from machine factory shop if i remember Twenty-five gram for the remote, might be. Okay, I think we have to go to D7L. So we got to. This is annoying. Although we can drive straight into D7L. Yeah, we'll just go in that way. It's fine. for the fractured gas tanks. Do you know what? I watched a video on YouTube yesterday. It was a YouTube short and it, it was like from a camera outside the door of an office 
And this guy walked up with a cigarette. He was smoking his cigarette. He was about to put his cigarette out to go inside the office. And there was like a small circular hole just in front of the, um, the door. So he thought, oh, I'll throw my cigarette down it. He threw his cigarette down this hole. About a second later, it just exploded. Like the whole thing just went boom. He f it was like, the clap is so old. I know, but it's just like, he was on the floor with a big gaping hole where the um, small hole was. <laughs> Imagine that. He was just throwing his cigarette down a hole. It's like, Dave, thank you for tier two, mate. 105 months. Didn't think it would make it this far. Longest sub on Twitch. Thank you. Beastly Greg, thank you for 108. I tell you what, I binge watched a channel whilst I was um, on holiday. I've even got Mrs. Squirrel into it. My daughters are watching it now. Hang on, where's D? I don't think it's down to D, doesn't it? Yeah. No, it's not right. I think that goes to F, doesn't it? It's the next one along. No, it is this one. Um, yeah, this channel's called Outdoor Boys. It's just called Outdoor Boys. And it's basically this guy that goes off like camping in these remote places in Alaska and stuff. And it's just so interesting. You like, you basically just go and dig a hole. One of them, he went up a mountain and it was minus 30 Celsius outside, and he dug a he dug a massive hole in the snow, and uh, slept in it, survived overnight. And he'll do stuff like he'll go out without a tent. He'll just have a tarp, and he'll just chop chop some dead trees down, and survive in the wilderness. It's just some of the food he has is amazing. Like he'll bring a piece of steak with him, or a big lamb shank or something, and then he'll get this massive fire going, and he'll have a huge rock. He'll put it on the fire, heat it up, and then he'll put his steak on the rock and cook it. Absolutely brilliant. Wait, I just binge watched his channel. <laughs> Gee. Need to go right on the way in, and then right again. Yeah, he is good. Really interesting stuff. Yeah, some of the tools he has, though, are just fantastic. Like, he has this magnesium or titanium red shovel that basically collapses down and just goes on his backpack. I want one of them. And then he has this other thing. It's like a a large blade for, for cutting trees. And he can either have it as like a long stick and use it to, to cut snow and then shovel it or he can fold it into like a D shape and it becomes a tree saw. And you're like, where is he getting these tools from? They're so cool. Oh, the snow shelter ones are brill. Like, he teaches you about how to make a snow shelter. Like, which way to orient it and, you know, have your have your sleeping area off the ground because the cold air sinks down here. It's really good. Where are we going after this? D7. God. I need to work out what's at the back. Micro run. This machine unloads. Every time I spin that the wrong way. Every time. All right, let's get the old lantern out. Spotlight. 
Ganze. Okay. 817-000-672. Oh, you scumbag, really? 817. Right, so need to go to G2S, and then D2S, and then G6S. That's annoying. Would you sleep in a snow shelter built by pups? I wouldn't be able to get in to a snow shelter built by pups, would I? He might have done Andy Lad. He turns all comments off on videos now. Like pups shelter would like might be a little rabbit hole. The orientation does matter, yeah. It will cool better when it's going forward. Yeah, you know why he's not here, Alan Bowen? Because he has no dedication to the stream. If he was dedicated to the stream, he would be here and he would be able to defend himself. He has a go at other mods for not being here watching. See? He's rocked up now. See? Because somebody tipped him off. Somebody said to him, they're having a go at you. He never left, apparently. He just stayed quiet all the time. Are you just... <laughs> you're not sinking to my level anymore. Oh, shall I tell him about you and Alex last night? Bickering like two little girls. Should we should we talk about that? That's what it was like listening to them too. Yeah, it was Hunt Showdown, but they weren't. It wasn't about Hunt Showdown, I don't think. It was about something else. Scumbags. It has to drop that one off here. I have to go all the way through. And one of them needs dropping off at six, which is here. Absolute scumbaggery. Tankfest, no. Never been to Tankfest. Uh, Zilla Zoid, thank you for subbing with Prime. Welcome. Says Fatman, thank you for 19. SJ, thanks for 14. You can control throttle and brake with keyboard if you're not on a certain difficulty level and you can even remap the keys as I do in the preferences font. 
So you can use keyboard or you can use, you know, the mouse. I miss my remote control. Hey, Mickey. Right, so double check before we do this. Uh, 672 dropped off at G2S, which is PR. A handbrake on that. Now, I believe, if we look at the job. The next car along is this one. That wants to go to D. But this next one wants to go to 6S here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this one as well. We'll come back and move this one in a second. I'll chuck this one over in uh, G6S. Tuscan, thank you for 69 months, and DeSanto, thank you for 17. It was a big patch, Sharon. Yeah, big patch. Oh, look, the sun's starting to come up. It's getting a bit brighter. You shouldn't really engine break the um, S282. Shotgun. You shouldn't really um, engine brake it at all. You can in an emergency, but it can cause um, water to go into the cylinders. So it's better not to. Right, 
Right, let's go and get this other one and chunk that into D yard and we're done. I did, I did indeed forget that break. Quite correct. Good spot. DM3 is fun. Do you know what? I knew, when people saw that video, I knew you'd get half the people saying, oh, that's really cool. That looks like a lot of fun. That looks tricky. I can't wait to try that. And then the other half, what a lot of faff. I am so skipping that. I'm going straight to the DH4. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. And that's exactly what the comments section was like on the video. to drive through drop it off because I can't re easily turn around yeah I think you're right now I think they do need to spread the licenses a little bit they need to give you a reason to to use the DM driver I have no idea I haven't used mine in years Colin they can't even buy them in this country anymore. Thank you for giving us up to Larry.
No, the deed seems meant for shunting. Thank you for 119 months. We may be better off going to the bottom end and reversing back this way. It depends if there's stuff in 2S already. Oh, what? Why is there something on the actual... Oh, scumbag. We'll go that way. There's a riskier option, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> the riskier option was to, like, disconnect the... Um this car, and then punt the train out of there, and then steer the car over here. Very risky. Wow, Mr. Burt Black, thank you very much, dude. Bots, can we get a shout out for Burt Black? Burke said to get arrested and to be plunder. <laughs> Dude, thank you, mate. Hope you had a great stream. Hope you're well. I've just got back off holiday. I've forgotten how to stream. I did pop in your stream earlier today. Let's see what he was up to. Hope you're well, good sir. Right, this way. G2S is that one. If you're not following Burt Black, guys, consider giving him a follow. Lovely guy. Great streamer. I'm well jealous though, he has a, he has a massive room, like I think it's his basement, and he's set it up with like massive green screen areas, I just do not have the room for that. But it means he can do things like he can play at his desk and then get up and walk over to a big green screen and do a scene, and then jump back on the computer, or he can do VR stuff. Holiday was good, thank you. Yeah, Lake District is a lovely place. Just about squeeze this into 2S, I think. That should be into us. Yeah. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. Oh. I'll break on that. Climb Mount Helvin in the snow last November. Oof, that'd be brisk. Yeah, they adjusted the way friction's put down, neighbouring. Like if it rains as well, you'll, you'll struggle even more.
put this in the siding for now. You're mainly using the DE64 patch now, you can't stop driving the Steam Loco. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Steam license. Oh, the fog definitely. The fog definitely makes life hard. Well, the, there is an update coming soon, Mavery, which will add the D6 slug. Do you know about the slug? Anybody heard of the D6 slug? That will be coming out very so shortly. So that should be out pretty soon. That'll give you more tractive effort. No, it doesn't have its own engine. It's basically... It's like another... It's like a D6, but without the engine. So it's basically a whole set of traction motors. So it uses your DE6 generator, and then it has all the traction motors a DE6 has, and it sits behind it. It's like a slave to it. So it allows you to put more of that power down onto the uh, track. But it doesn't give you more power. It just gives you better tractive effort. There we go. Hey, look at this now. Lovely. Did it all before sunrise. Overnight shunting. Hopefully that's all worked. Yay! What do we get? 21,400. Not bad for a night's work. Imagine doing one night's work and getting paid $21,000. <laughs> I'd be alright with that. That was a little bit of a faff. It took us 33 minutes. Ooh, that's pretty close to the limit. We'll clear that off. Right, we've got 38 grand now. 38 grand with no fees. Not bad. Four licenses owned. See, I think there should be a bigger jump between these two. I think, like, the D6 should probably cost more, like, 400. And then this should cost 50, and that should cost 100. And this should cost a lot, lot more than 20 grand. <laughs> I think these need spacing out a bit more. Yeah, the DH4, DH4 is more, wait, that's crazy. I'm used to the game resetting these, but we didn't leave the area. Um, the DH4 is so, like, automatic that, yeah, it should be more. Uh, was that a new one that we just got? I think the ground would be too much for the average player. Well, the point is, I mean, it's a balancing act, isn't it? You're right, like... It, if you put it up too much, it'd be too much of a grind. Equally, if everything is too cheap, you'll smash through it and feel like you've got nothing left to do. 
So it's always going to be a balancing act. But my main point is that the difference between these two locomotives is too small. The DM3, it has a lot of pulling power, but it's a lot of work. And this is relatively easy to drive compared to a DM3. So the difference in price, I don't think is correct. You mean train length one? That one? It's only 10 grand. I don't know. Let's have a look. Right, so prerequisites. You need to buy... You first need to own train length two. All right, okay. Train length two, that makes it different. So train length two is a 20 grand upgrade. So I guess, in essence then, that is 70 grand if you include that license. This one doesn't require any so that's actually 70 and that's 30 which is a bigger jump probably wants to skip the dm3 to be viable since it's not for everyone oh yeah you need to try, yeah you're right 80 grand so i guess that's 80 that's 30 so that's more than double so maybe that's all right actually I'm not sure you'd want to go down that road anyway, train length one and two. You put your copay up quite a lot, that. I mean, that's the other thing about the DM3 is it's quite cheap to repair. I think the maximum cost, if you blow it up, is like 20 grand. So, mm, we'll see. 16 grand. These are all long one license. So long one will put our copy up a lot. Removes a re-rail discount. Yeah, yeah, you can you can blow up the DM through the mist clip. Yeah, absolutely can. I like that you can see the weather that's coming up. It helps you to plan your jobs. Anyway. Three hundred and thirty three tons to city southwest. I don't know if a D2 would cope with that. Main issue you have a derail. It's very easy to dig yourself into a hole if you buy a new license too quickly. Yeah, the more you play derail, the more you understand. Like, a new player would probably not necessarily understand the intricacies of these licenses. And just get, oh, I'll get that so I can do this job without realizing, yeah, but <laughs> copay four grand, you know what I mean? That takes a bit of experience, which is why a new player should start on a lower difficulty level. And the weather forecast for today is rain at three o'clock, followed by more rain. All the way till nine o'clock. <laughs> oh no, why have they put 0722? No. Please don't do that. Please don't. No, but no. American date format, what are you doing? Why would it do that? I don't get it. I like what they've done with the graphics. It's not a big overhaul. Look at that. It's nice. Looks a lot better. Right, so we could take that for 16 grand and go up to Food Factory, 185 tons. Logistic. Uh, can't remember the details of logistic. 
Yeah, that's an improved time bonus deadline. Doesn't change the copay, so that's not... It's not a terrible shout having that license. Just having it increases your time bonus. But I don't know if there's any jobs I want to do. Even those to both going to Sawmill would only pay almost 10. Yes, I, I unless I'm wrong, I believe that's meant to be July the 22nd in American date format. I'm going to petition him to change that. <laughs> Tequila, thank you for 103 months. J10, how you doing? Good morning to you. Harm, thank you for 84. Seven years completed. And tier three, thank you, sir. Right, food factory, steel mill. Food factory. Food factory is such a pain to get to. That is a, a long haul for 16 grand, that is. Scrap metal back to the steel mill. It's 11 grand, but it gets us out of here. True, the food factories, it's all the way through there, and it's a bit of a mess getting it through here. I just don't know if that's worth an extra five grand over that one. Oh, yeah, I did have another job in my pocket. <laughs> well remembered. I don't know if this is still valid. I forgot about that job. <laughs> Hang on, HPSU32. Uh, they would be on an incoming track. Quite possibly over here. Run, Forest, run! Micro running. I reckon that's that. Jake, thank you for 75 months. Sam Blackshaw, thank you for 70. Right, are you the train we're looking for? HBSU32. That's the badger. Five cars. Five cars. Lovely. Yeah, three drop-offs. It's going to be like the last one. Decent money, though. the other one. The rain on the flat won't really affect this job that much. It affects the incline mostly. While well, I'm putting my loco into position and then accepting the job. Oh, 
Oh yeah, downhill in the rain can be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> So I used to learn new commands, but in the end everything went well. When you say commands, what do you mean, Maverick? Seven L. Okay. Need to think about when we buy the remote as well. Oh yeah, they, they boosted the job times quite a bit, particularly on difficult levels. They give you even more time. Uh, Jake, thank you for 75. Uh, Chans, thank you for raiding with six people. Welcome guys. Brian, I thank you for 74 months. Thank you for seven months, mate. Did indeed, Brylar. Thank you. It's getting misty, isn't it? Look. looking properly misty. Am 
might be the room. Jack Sims, how you doing? Guys, we should congratulate uh, Jack Sims. Not only does he now know the rules, but he knows the rules of truck driving. Because he got his truck driving license and is now driving trucks. Well, I don't think he's flown a truck yet. Probably not through lack of trying. Yeah, having the remote is actually quite advantageous on this difficulty level because you can only move around so slowly. I think having that remote is probably an early purchase. Uh, comfy cool, man. Thanks for 10 months. Rusty, thank you for 69. Lone Star, thank you for two years. It's either we save up for uh, a loco license or we get the remote and use this for a while. I don't know. A remote wouldn't change our copay in any way, which is nice. Pondering it, perhaps I'm pondering. It's definitely useful for shunting work. I'm not going to be shunting forever. So after this is unloaded, we want. I need to check the car order. G7, D5, G2. So there's a couple of G drops with a D in the middle again. It removes all in one go. I tell you, every time I do that the wrong way. Every time. Right, let's see what's on the back. 102. 
Okay, so that's that one. So that's a G7. 387. Uh, button mapping you can just do from the text file. So the back three to G7, then that one to D, then that one to G. Of these cables that just run like <laughs> there's definitely no trip hazard right here with those cables. Perfectly safe that is. to see when we're past the uh, switch. Hey, you never know, Rasta. This is a thing. All right, G7S should be the one on the right. I'll have to push them back. So push them out of the way, pull forward with the others, and then what was the other one? Which is that one? TV is probably buffering it, Jackson's.
Yeah, you see, this is where the remote would actually be very handy. I think these will all fit anyway. Also leave this one for a second. And this one which is four hundred. We're going to G two S. You know what I have. It's not my fault you haven't updated the command, mate, is it? Flare pen, eh? There you go. No dedication, told you. What was cool about the place we rented as well, they actually had a car charger there. Which is great. Although, it's amazing how much power you don't really need. Like, we drove all around the lakes in a day. We only used 20% battery. Doesn't matter. Just get back home, just plug it in overnight. 90%. I know, right, Connor. 100%. See, with the remote as well, I can disconnect cars now. It just makes life so much easier. Uh, Pion, thank you for nine months. MT, thank you, 21. is going to D5S which is okay look 
goalies down there. Car color. But it's not someone chat GPT. Green cars are slow, red cars are fast. Ball. Six six, just double check. Yep. That's very nice, Everest. I'll have to get all the photos off my uh, phone. I've got some really nice pictures. Giorgio, thank you for nine months. Hey, MH, thanks for 32. So we need to go left on that. So I use a proper camera. I don't know, the iPhone's pretty good. I have an app called Pro Camera and it lets you do like gives you all manual controls and stuff when you want it so you can set your focus in one area and your exposure in another or you can like manually override the shutter and have it calculate the ISO and things like that that comes in pretty handy it was next to a waterfall as well, and I did some slow-mo shots near the waterfall. Right, 5S. It's down the middle, and then first right. The cat dad, thank you for three months. think about what the fact that it got more difficult well they also give you a lot more options in how you want to play it as well uh, the world is pre-built like the map at the moment there's only this map
Okay, I think we're done on that job. Get paid. Thirty three smackaroonies. Noise. Swipe that out. Okay, now I've got 71 grand. Woo! Hey, Wakane. How you doing? That wasn't too bad. 27 minutes. Is that job two or three? I think it was three. He needs his career 71 grand in less than two hours. Lil. Right, so now we've got options. Is it 25 grand for remote? You get DM3 for 30 grand. I don't know why it lets you buy that license. It's not in the game yet, is it? 50 grand for the Steam. Why is there so much paper on the floor? Because I put it there. I chucked all them on the floor. So many logistic jobs. All empty cars. There's actually three. No, four. Do you know what? There's an idea here. Because I need to go to Machine Factory in town anyway to get the remote. So what we could do, because these are all empty cars, they could easily be hauled by D2. So what we could do is take all of them and then haul them up with a D2, get paid on all of them, Oh, yeah, I can't because I need concurrent too. So that was almost a good plan. <laughs> but, yeah, you can't. You can't take that many jobs. Because you need that, which is 30 grand's worth of stuff, plus there's lots of bad benefits. Yeah. Meh. Yeah, but logistics is fairly easy to get. We could take that one then, maybe. 
as a way of getting us over there. None of the others go there, even if we got the job. Yeah, there's that one for 17 grand, um, which would require us to get logistic for 20. So that would probably pay for itself and get us over to Machine Factory to get a remote control. Or we just get a DM3 and do some different jobs. Um, probably that, but that's only 17 as well. Okay, let's get that. Oh, you need to own concurrent one anyway to, to get it. Rip. Yeah, you can't get logistics till you've got that. That puts your copay up quite a bit. If you get the DM3, you won't need the remote for a while. There aren't really any good jobs from here, and I don't want to pay to go up to um, Machine Factory because it's like two grand just to go there. So I was kind of hoping to hop our way via a job. We could just haul the steel mill job up there. We could take a DM3 and just haul that. That gets us to the steel mill. And then try and get from the steel mill. That city southwest is quite nice. That's like 30 grand. Requires long one. Yeah, I don't know, old Baz. Even if we get a concurrent one, two jobs is not... So that's 20 grand for that, plus... That's 30 grand, and that would let us talk, like take those two. Those two there. In a DE2. Not them two. Them two. I haven't checked if a DM3 is actually spawned. So, yeah, we could. We can get concurrent one and logistic one and get that. And then get up there, that would pay us 25 plus a bonus of 50%. Probably make a profit of about 30 grand. So we'd then be up at the machine factory in town with 30 grand in our, with 100 grand. So that's one option. The other option is get a DM3 and do a job. Trouble is, we get concurrent, it puts our copay up quite a lot. So all of our repair bills go up huge amounts. Let's go and see if there's a date. Oh, it's raining. It's it's raining. Let's go and see if there's a DM3. I want to keep the copay at, like, the smallest amount I can for the longest period of time. Because the moment that goes up, all your repair bills go up. Every single job. Steg, thank you for a bullseye 50 months. Sammy Ed, thank you for 55. The bomb, thank you for 28. Well, that answers that one. Oh, hang on. 
This locomotive requires the DM3 license. So we could take that and completely um, blow up the gearbox. Better than, better than Hunt. Oh, the rain in Hunt, man. Oh my god. This could get quite interesting. Let's take the DM3 and try and haul it up that hill. Could get quite slippy. If we took the DM3, what would we haul? That one? Food factory? I don't want to go to the food factory, though. Not really. These are all out of the question. Hang on. That one's allowed. We could do that. Can hold 232 tons up to the steel mill. Uh, Sig, it depends on your difficulty setting. Because we're playing on a hard difficulty, we can't teleport more than that. That's maximum distance right there. Right, let's do this. DM3. There we go. We're now licensed on the DM3. What could possibly go wrong? And we'll take that one there. So 232 tons of scrap metal up to the steel mill in the rain in a DM3. It'll be fine. Right, where do we think this will be? Scrap metal. Could have come off that ship there. Does it look like it's there? Could be that one. Maybe. Listen, Costel, you can just play the game and change your difficulty settings so that you can change the rain and then never play in the rain. Like, you're completely free to do that. I don't think that's it. FH-65... FH-32. Dang it. Right, so it's not down in the D-yard. So where do we think it'll be? I reckon G. I mean, considering this is Unity, that's not bad. Sleep away the fog. Well, I'm not sure what your complaint is then, Costell. You've got the option not to have the thing you don't like. It's none of them, is it? There is thunder. Have you never seen thunder? I'm pretty, sh pretty sure I showed thunder and lightning in the videos.
is the worst bit about the teleportation distance is trying to find where the cars are. FH94. What do we want? 32. Finally, there it is. Okay. That's all set. The loco's back in the yard. I haven't moved it. It needs to add some light sources like this when it goes because it's dark enough for some lights to come on I think like it shouldn't just go off time of day it should go off what the light level's like because they would look really cool right now if they were lit up get that to stick. Uh, I don't know deck trails. I'll play it when I want to play it kind of thing. Right then. Uh, let's see. I didn't seem to turn all the way. Mr. Hambone, thank you for 79 months. So I pressed the reverser once, it didn't do anything, so I pressed it again, and then it went bang-bang and did two of them. Stole the engine. <laughs> well, it just stalls it, it wasn't the new gearbox. Uh, 
no worries, Pook. Why is that local move? Right. New save. Because <laughs> you know it's going to go wrong at some point. Stalled it. I thought I'd try to see if it'd work in 2 1. Apparently not. Let's try that. Let's try that. I'm going to experiment with it. It really is like driving a truck, this thing. I don't know, I wish I could use my, um, like, Logitech shifter. <laughs> Cheetah uses Steam Deck for controls on DM3. That's not a bad shout, though. James, thank you for 31 months. Fangs, thank you for 24. Red ahead, thank you for 60. The best thing about this is it has a jake brake on it. Sounds like a Cummins diesel or something. Wait, they made that a lot brighter. Blimey. They made that way brighter. really did 
Like in the pre-release version I played, it was nowhere near that bright. That's been definitely changed. Oh, this is going to be good. We're going to be hauling in the rain at night in a DM3 out of the harbour. Can't think of anything that can go wrong. It's very capable, it's just not very quick. We'll start to move and then we'll go and have the job in as we go past. In the rain. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. Yeah, but you can skip gears down on the tour, that's the thing. This is that wheel slip. Oh, the DH4 is just, it's almost fully automatic. That wasn't the gearbox, that was wheel slip. like it. My god, look at that. Looks so cool. Right, E two O. How we get on. The 
southwest coastal route from the harbour. You mean the, you mean the east route? Oh, no, literally, there's never a reason to go that way. It's it's scenic, but nah. Uh, thank you for eight to six months, Frosty Forza. Black month. Thank you for 115. See a thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we've got the worst of everything now. Nighttime, rain, mist, Harbour Hill, DM3. Let's go. That's what we're dealing with. Look at that. You can't see past your nose now. It's that bad. <laughs> Something tells me this is not going to go very well. Lights are definitely on. So we get a steady thirty out of it. Temperatures rising pretty quick. I could hold him pretty well. It's pretty sick, isn't it? Yeah, full IMC conditions. Yeah, the old temp's fine. Anything in the yellow is fine. Rain's not helping. Think about the DM threes, you just gotta be patient with it. It can pull, but it's just not quick. But it will do it. It will get the job done. Now the RPMs are in tens of RPM. Like that's 500.
June 25, it's not so bad. That is some appalling weather. Like, I cannot believe how quickly that weather closed in. Yeah, so that's in times 10. So the RPM max is a thousand RPM. Then you got your old temperature here, which goes yellow at 95 or so. And then she's speed on to that. I mean, it's more fun than a D2. <laughs> no, you really can't see anything. And with this difficulty, we don't even know where we are on the map. It, like, this game, with the weather, is so different. Like, the jobs that you used to take, you knew exactly what you was doing. You were like, well, it's always the daytime, it's always sunny, it's always dry. I know what this locomotive can haul out of the harbour. Now, if it rains, it changes everything. Lights are pretty good. Absolutely ridiculous weather. So I have to go past it and then reverse it to 6-9. Hopefully by the time we get there we'll be able to see what we're doing. I 
think it's clearing up a little bit. It's not as misty. Like we can see further now. Hey, we'll get there. Might not get there in one piece, but we'll get there. This is the that mass. So if you're playing on on a different difficulty, you can change, just skip nighttime, or just change the length of the day. It'd be much longer. But you can see the clouds have gone, so it's kind of drying up a bit now. Sleep now to skip nights. Where do you go and sleep? Jack Sims is playing City Skylines. A sofa in the office. I didn't know he had it there. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely playing Skylines too, for sure. Well, looking forward to that. the hill now, we can probably get some speed going. Saturday night mod house name in his back. <laughs> speed now. Oh yeah, Starfield. Does Starfield come out the same month as Skylines 2? That's unfortunate. I thought Skylines was October. Interesting. Skylines is 24th of October, right? So when's um, Starfield? I thought that was September. Yeah, it's over a month apart. So basically, you've got a month to finish Starfield. 
just a month to finish that game, and then you'd be straight into Skylines. It's six weeks, loads of time. What's the problem? Duck speak, thank you for 19. MB, thank you for 26. Batman, thanks for 81. Mr. Simcopter, thank you very much for your rate, sir. I did pop into your stream earlier today. And I was going to say hi, but something distracted me and I didn't. <laughs> I apologise. But I did see you. I am well and I hope you are too. Guys, can we, Pods, can we get a shout out for Simcopter? Lovely bearded man that he is. Ghost about it ridiculously weird times. <laughs> that man is on Pacific time, which means I, by my calculations, it's 6.30 a.m. And he has just finished streaming. No doubt this little kid will be getting out of bed right now. And now 50k's. It's all about the pulling power with this thing. It's not speedy. You said it used to be 7 a.m. till 2 p.m. Then it changed. The mood was terrible. So what do you what do you sleep now then, Connor? How's the family, Sim, by the way? Yeah, I just got back off holiday, Sim. I went to um, the Lake District, which is like a, a part northwest of England, where it's kind of very mountainous and lakes and hilly. It's lovely. It gets a bit wet, though, but it's uh, fantastic. I don't usually go to sleep. Midnight-ish. Alarm goes off at quarter past seven. I'm playing on realistic difficulty. Well, realistic difficulty, but I tweaked a couple of things. Thank you, Mikard. Thank you for 55 months. John's good, it's almost pre kindergarten. Uh, Caleb is crawling standard and chatty. Five James job, really happy, nice. Oh, that's awesome. Nice one. This is going to be tricky when we go into the steel mill because I won't be able to see very far when it comes to switches. Okay, so now we should be going downhill. Right time. I think of that might be better for night vision. see the oil well down there, oil well central in the distance, all lit up, visibility is way better. Right, we 
but now we're hitting the downslope. Going straight through here. Oh, my God, you can't even see what way that's put light, it's just reflecting light. Show show was good. Yeah, really nice. Got to see some cool stuff. I guess I'll, I'll try and get pictures and videos off my phone. Show you guys. Bones aircraft. Which one? Yeah, I'll have to do it, Larry. Well, watch the A400M fly, which is cool. They had a. They have now. A320 was flying around, I think. Go to A six I. Uh, think of seventy one months, Bigfoot. this one. Let's 
six. Bingo. Right. I think this is one of the reasons why the jobs are a lot more generous on time now. <laughs> I've got a bit of a roadmap going. There's lots of things they want to do to the game. It just depends. You know, they need the money to do it, right? Got to pay people to code. Passengers, yeah, that could get interesting. the shifting thing have you ever had a bike with drillia gears on it it's a bit like that you, you get like gears on the main pedal and then gears on the back wheel think of it that way like you've got gears on the main pedal gears on the back wheel I did try and explain it in the video yeah Three by three, got nine combinations. It's going to be hard to see the back of this train here. So we've got one, two, three, four. So this is where the remote would be very useful. Lake District, where I went. Thanks, pups. I don't want to 
want to go slamming into the uh, bumper at the back. Back at like another car or two. Close enough. Yikes, can't see a thing. That was a drop. <laughs> Give us the money. 16,700. Damn it. We should have got paid a lot more for that job. There should be a difficulty factor built in. It should just go, oh, it rained, it was dark, it was misty. Therefore, I'm going to multiply your money by three. <laughs> Did more, like, I got more money just for shunting some cars down in the yard than that. And that was way harder. Eleven grand? Eleven grand. How is that 11, 11 grand? What the? Locomotive damage. What? 8,800 in damage. What did I do? Was that the gearbox? I know I only have to pay 100. I'm just trying to work out why I racked up an 8,800 damage bill. I don't feel like I did, but somehow I did. Here we go. Wheel damage. Mechanical powertrain. 7,900 in mechanical powertrain fees. 2,200 in diesel. Diesel and oil, fine, whatever. Wheel damage, fine. Bit of sand. Yeah, I basically damaged the powertrain. You had high RPM, you chose the wrong gear. And that did $8,000 worth of damage. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Well, the money paying a hundred. So get wrecked. <laughs> right, what have we got left? We've got fifty eight grand on us now, and we have a DM three license. Let's give it a quick save. I agree, they should build those powertrains tougher. Right, I still need to get up to the um, machine factory so that I can get 
a remote control potentially. I think you need a bunch of things for this, don't you? Yeah, that puts our copay up to 10 grand. Ten grand cope. Yikes. Goods factory in town with three hundred and twenty four tons. Can't do that. Can't even do that yet. your rental local yeah until you start getting your copay goes up and then it becomes really expensive yeah that's the thing isn't that Matt? it doesn't really show you the, the license it should have a poster up here with like license dependency tree, you know what I mean? Like, oh, you want a DH4, you need to get long loco one and just have like a tree of dependency. Because you don't know unless you print it out. So these are not amazing, are they? I think that's probably the best one. That goes to Machine Factory as well. That actually goes where we want to go. 216 tons. I reckon we could DE2 that. Probably faster in a DE2 as well. Well, that's it, Nerdy Drew. Like, some licenses, it puts the copay so high that you really need to get manual servicing as well. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be paying a lot of money. SMFH 22. Does it tell us the time of day? Hang on, it doesn't tell me what the time of day is. Like, it gives me a weather, weather forecast with time on it, but where's the... There it is. 3.30am. I don't need to buy a watch. So it's not really worth sleeping because it's going to be light soon anyway. Right, FH22, four cars of steel slabs, probably here. There he is. Up to the machine factory. Let's see what locomotives are here. See a thing. <laughs> Look, you, you can't even see what's on the other side of this turntable. That's how dark it is. Oh, look, there's a D2. Oh. So I reckon it'd be cheaper to haul in this. Or we go on the DM3 again. The M3 is facing the wrong way. I'd have to turn it around on the turntable. It's not 300 tons. It's uh, 216. Should probably get more practice with the DM3, shouldn't I? And it's not despawned it. There he is. Right, we're going to take him over to the turntable.
Mr. Fairy Pump, thank you very much for the raid, sir. I hope you're well. I've been away for a, a few weeks. Just got back from holiday. So, uh, yeah, just catching up on things. Hope you're well. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, guys. Can we get a shout out, Ferret? Thank you so very much. Let's see if I can do this without damaging the gearbox. 101 months. <laughs> Unbelievable. I need to jump into your stream and see what I'm on now. How's the training going? Well, I thought it was doing okay, but apparently I damaged the powertrain on this thing. But I did just drive it in the night, in mist, in rain, out of the harbour. And that was pretty challenging. Couldn't see what I was doing. It's all good fun. See, why does the turntable have to be over here? Why can't it just be, like, off here somewhere? It's so much more handy. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the DM3. It's a diesel mechanical. And it's a bit of a handful. It's fun, though. I feel like that sort of thing. It's basically like a truck on rails with a manual gearbox. Yeah, for the price it can haul. There's no doubt about that. They've given you a powerful loco with a high difficulty factor at quite a cheap price.
is the... There it is. Uh, it's coming up on three. Take a break for the F1 shortly. Okay, back to the break. Cut the engine. Save on that. Break time. Right. I shall be back in an hour. Gonna go and get some lunch. Watch the Formula One. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you back here in one hour's time. When we'll carry on. Go and pick that up. Haul it up to the machine factory. Probably get the remote. And go from there. Lovely. Well, enjoy your break. If you're heading out, enjoy the rest of your evening. And I shall see the rest of you back here in one hour's time. Take it easy, guys. Bye for now. Woof. Welcome back. How are we doing? Hope you enjoyed the uh, Formula One quality. Definitely fun. We need to uh, start this up and move it, don't we? Because we've got a job to do. Where's it gone? Like that. Wait a minute. Don't tell me it's got rid of my job. I think it's despawned the job, you know, because I st restarted the game. I've got a feeling it's been dropped. That's annoying. Uh, F1 quality was uh, was pretty fun, pretty spicy. Silverstone never, never fails to deliver. These were the cars. FH22. I think it's the same thing, but a different number. Yeah, when the weather's like that and it's just kind of clearing up, it gets proper spicy. FH22, do we see them anywhere? There it is, machine factory in town. Okay. Right, let's move into position and then chuck the job on the machine. Yeah, oh man. I don't want to spoil it, but that right at the end there, Norris. Oh. Uh, Kamikaze, thank you for 42 months. And uh, hey, Mr. DJ, thank you for three years. Tier 3, appreciate your support. Thank you. Federal Boy with a year. Race Dagger with four, 50 months. Bullseye. Chewbacca with 25. And Dummy Monk with 72. Uh, Mr. Impious, thank you for 89. Inch close to the Magic 100. Oh, yeah. Solid Bond, thank you for 90. Okay, we shall put the red on the back now for now. And well, electric's on the start, so. Yeah, it's a fun little race, that. Well, quality. We'll see, Mustang. A lot of it depends on the weather. I've not checked the forecast for tomorrow. I think moves around quite a lot.
I think the suspension is like way too soft for a train. Like the way it all pitches around just doesn't feel right. Yeah, I showed a photo of it, Jaten. Picture I took um, while I was on holiday. Of a train almost identical to this. Well, a locomotive. There's no, there's no clutch in it. It's not, but not, other than graphics, the map hasn't fundamentally changed. You're missing the shutter remote. What does that mean? Oh. You mean the remote on the D6? Yeah, so attach your DE2 to your D6. Use the remote on the DE2 and it'll operate the DE6 for you. Is what you need to do. Thank you for five years, Buccaneer Dan. Happy anniversary. Condiment, thanks for 73. Killer Chris, thank you for three years. If you want to watch the video I did on this, it's on my YouTube channel. That's what I did in the video, Gore. Did exactly that. That guy should have watched my video. <laughs> Saved himself a lot of pain. Oh, it's, of course, it's the last one. Nice weather for a change. Off to the machine factory to find my actual job. Run eight. Mm, I did try it. Okay, B10, machine factory, C3I is the destination. The other thing you're missing is how to access the key bands without opening the edit file. Uh, you just, just edit the file. Preferences file. That's all I've done. Dragon Hero, thank you for 67 months. Bullet, thank you for 135. You just started your own yesterday, nice. Hope you have a good holiday.
Lake District. Evan, thank you, 21 months. Portugal, nice. But it's hot in Portugal. Uh, machine factory. C3I. Okay. It's like double glazing, that is. <laughs> uh, Briscoe, thanks for 30 months. Appreciate that. You'd be in Tampa. A short stop in Nashville. Lovely. Looks good, straight through. Fun little logo, this one. Yeah, I don't know why they've made them all sway like that. I, I, I think it needs to tighten it up, personally. Wait, is it raining? That's an F game. Every time I haul in this thing, it rains. She sounds like a synthesized organ sound. And the loco spawn. <laughs> uh, Mickey, thank you for 85 months. Nice one, Irvin. It's a pity you can't get them in different colours. It'd be nice if you could do that. I think we need 40 around this bend and then 30 when we go into the city southwest. I'll show you someone else to you, mate. You've got external like that, 
And then you've got this view here where you can just literally freeze it. And follow it like that and then change perspective. Which is kind of cool. Nice feature. Oh, it's, it's amazing for thumbnails. It's it's a godsend for thumbnails. Okay, 30 going through that bit. The track is completely buried. Look at that. Definitely the DH and the DM. In what respect? I have some great videos on the YouTube about this. If you want to drive the DM3 or the DH4, I have literally a dedicated video on each one. I'm sure I set that down. I'll put that on high as well. to hang a right through here. I'm sure I did click apply. Ezekiel, thank you five months. I did indeed enjoy my time off. 
Uh, FPS is 60 at the moment. It depends where I am. Don't forget, I'm playing in 4K, recording in 1440, and streaming in 1080, so the graphics card is working very hard. Steady, that's the DM3. Uh, no, Genology went to the Lake District. So look at that, it's it's doing like in the yellow RPMs, but the temperature is totally under control. It's very comfortable. I don't think I was fully throttled out then. I thought I was, but I don't think I was. Now. Yeah, I don't think the oil should have been that low either. Maybe it was bugged out because it was sat here, wasn't it? Raining again. This doesn't have a torque converter in it. It's the DH4 that has a torque converter. I think we need to... Uh yeah, but it'll get it done, Mr. Preacher. That's the thing about this thing. It'll get it done. It won't do it quickly, but it will do it. And for 30 grand license, it's a pretty good deal. It's got real misty look. enjoyed it we did that much walking though that much you know 
going around the mountains and the lakes and stuff. The dogs are wiped out at the end of the day. <laughs> Every time I got home, they just went. <laughs> it's brilliant. Okay, so we're coming in from the south, so we want to take the first switch to the right, then to the left. That'll bring us into Sea Yard, and then we're going into 3 I I think. C3I. So that's going to be right, right, left. Over 10 months, burnt wood. Well, yeah, but Yaris, you've also got to bear in mind the DH4, you need two licenses to buy it, so it actually costs 80,000 a year which is quite a lot of more than 30,000 that you need for this, and you don't need any extra license. So there is that. I use the keybinds, Navarine. I don't like the default keybinds, I use my own. It has a jake brake right there, which is basically engine retard brake, like what you get on the uh, older trucks. Funnily enough, I have a video. <laughs> I almost feel like I should just get a link to the video for when I'm driving a certain locomotive, and then I could just link the video. <laughs> Well, not in Europe, it's not cool. I don't know about the States. Transmission retard is more popular over here. Yeah, exactly, never read. We need like a DM3 command, a DH4 command, a D2 command. I don't have a controller for this, though. Point seven percent. DM, I think, can run multiple. Well, that's what it's like in Europe, Bruce Lee. It's like these jake brakes make a lot of noise, so they're not, uh, not that popular. Come on, you can do it. Uh, two hundred and sixteen tons. That's what it is.
Uh, Daddy Annie, thank you for 34 months. ML Erko, thank you for 58. Okay, into Sea Yard. Yeah, a lot of people don't like this because it's hard work, <laughs> which I understand, but it's also fun. Uh, is this the Sea Yard? This doesn't feel like the Sea Yard. Sea yard. C3I. Is it Danology? Is it? I disagree. No work at all. Lol. Uh, they randomly spawn around the map, Atlas. The harbour. I literally got mine from the harbour. You've just. If you go. If you teleport away or leave the area, come back, you'll have different locos. They can spawn anywhere. think about it is a non self lap break which puts people off as well. Okay, should do it. Whoop, thank you, stay down. Squeaky squeaky. Okay, what's that? 21,600. Woo! Let's have a look at this before we... Uh, actually, I'll probably have to do that anyway. We have 79 grand now. It's a DH4 or DM3, do you mean d -Pain? There is no DM4. Yeah, Pops, I want a few commands, mate. So what we need, Pops, we need commands like this. Uh, D2, D6, which will be the same command. Um, what do you want? DM3, DM4, uh, the S2, oh god, what's it called? Basically, we want one for each video. S282. We want commands like that, pups. And then each one links to the respective video but the de2 and the de6 is the same video and they can just say like c squirrels d2 video and then link to it or c squirrels dm3 video link to it get the idea
I'll assume yes. Um, uh, okay, more logistic stuff. No, oh, DM4, yeah, not DM. No. DH4, I meant in that command, pups. Type the wrong thing. So it'll be DH4 like that. Uh, right. See, everything here. It's factory in town. I quite like that one, but it requires a long license. And if we get long, we may have to go. Mm, that's not too bad, actually. 1900 copay. It's not ideal. It will hit the bottom line a bit. Hmm. Yeah, we could shunt the one we brought in. 12 grand, it's not terrible, is it? It's only got two drops. Maybe we should take that. We're already attached to it anyway. Yeah, let's do that. Bit of extra dosh. Right, where are we going? C1L. And then both in the B yard. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. I wonder if they'll ever simulate the battery on these things. That's what I'm saying, there's no battery at the moment. I said, I wonder if they'll ever simulate the battery on these things. Squeeze me. My God, I'm having a sneezing fit. Do you know what I noticed when I was in the Lake District? My hay fever pretty much just went away. Came back to Essex and the pollen was hitting me again. Pollen is a lot stronger down here. Discord's video on the whatever train here. Yeah, see Squirrel's video on the DH4 and then link. Something like that. 
do. Just don't forget the D2 and the D6 will just be the same thing, really. Just the, this one video. Yep, Andy lad, it's, it's a thing. Two lantern. I've not had a, a reason to use it yet. Oh god. Oh, do you know what? That looked to me like it was going down the wrong track. So I slammed on the anchors thinking I must have done something wrong. Because it looked wrong. safe and sort of like from here it just looked like it was going straight into it yeah I've tried Cheetos uh, Chris 30 months mate Chris I was on a steam train I showed loads of pictures earlier in the first stream steam locomotives but I'll dig them out for a proper run through to B yard. Could actually go forward and reverse into B yard. B1S. There you go. What's on the back? 316. Okay, so 110 must be on the back then. B6S and then B1S. I was playing with a real steam engine this week. Don't give me that. A proper full size one as well. Not the little toy things that you have. Proper one. And by playing, I mean sat in the carriage in the back. But you know, hey, I was playing. And taking pictures. Benner, one month to nine years of pure joy. Thank you very much, Benner. It's very kind. Right, stick that in there. And we want to be hanging a left. 
into the bee yard. And I think we want to keep left going in to get into B6, I think. Yeah. You think there's another place to jump? No, the only the only thing is you load it though, which you've done well, you unload it. Drop celebratory bunting. That Glad car you off. had a productive fortnight. Welcome back. Onamichi, thank you very much. Thank you for the bits. I had had a productive fortnight. Yeah, we're dropping one the back car off on six and then the other three are going into one. That's the whole job. Two drops and unloading two drops basically. Thank you, Papa. Maybe just post in the mod chat in the Discord pups and just say what the four commands are. Thanks. Apparently it's good in VR as well. Especially steam trains. Steam locomotive in VR is apparently very good. Okay, so we're dropping the... Let's double check this. him. Let's go in there. I have got the VR stuff, but honestly I haven't used it in years. I should probably just sell it. that way which has cars on it already which is interesting it's definitely B1S Yeah, I was at the lake side and half the point uh, railway. See you later, Evan. Enjoy your holiday. 
Try not to get burned. Yeah, pups, you need to change that message. That one should say C scrolls video on the DE2 stroke DE6, or just say DE6 if it's a DE6 command. No, you do get that problem. It does sound like logistical halls in particular can have cars sandwiched and you have to move stuff out of the way. That's not an accident. can't we? I think we'll get away with that. Didn't apply the handbrake. That was an easy 18 grand. Right, we have 98 grand. We have options. We could get a DH4. We could get a license. We could get a remote. It's all kind of things we can get now. That's a long, long license. That's a long license as well. 46 grand? What? Wait a minute, what's the catch here? It needs a long license and it only weighs 160 tons. What? What am I missing? I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> it's a long trip. It's only the harbour. I mean, look at this. If you if you get concurrent one and combine it with that, you can even take that as well. D eight the uh, the DN three could pull both of them. Ne problemo. I don't know. I, just, I don't know why it's 46 grand. I'm looking at it thinking, I must be missing something. <laughs> but I can't see what it is. Excavators pay very well. Did they really dig up the gold? Blank on a minute. So... If we got that, let's put that there. We'll put that there. So train length one will only put up our copay by an extra night. So we'll only have to pay twenty one hundred. So that's a really good option. If we take this one. We'll be putting our copy up another four grand, which is quite a lot. So I think for now we just 
get that. I might get that in the remote. Do it that way. Go to the shop. Buy the long license as well. Let's do that. this. It's the local hooligan. Like Captain Wub Wub. Mm -hmm. Shovel, lighter, EOT, lantern. Locomotive remote. Very much come to Papa. There's a battery come charged, I wonder. This is one. Yeah, the EOT lantern is not very bright. You can stick it on the back of a train, but it's... You know, it's meant for the steam train, really. Um, what are we doing? Right, we need to find the excavators. I think maybe that's them. FH14. FH14. Right, so I need to turn around, really. Because I need to head that way. Uh, where are we? In B Yard. In B Yard? We're in B Yard. Yeah, we're going to have to go to the turntable, I think. There's no easy way of turning around. It's annoying. I might start this job anyway, because we've got ages to do it. And I don't want it disappearing. Yeah, if you, ever, if you lose an item, Alex, just go into here, lost and found. Wherever there's a station, there'll be like a, um, a skip. Or a dumpster if you're American. There'll be one of them and there'll be a shed. And this is where your lost and find items go. This is where you throw jobs if you don't want them anymore. Because you can find yourself losing the lantern. With alarming regularity. Did I not buy the license yet? Yeah, I didn't buy the license yet. Uh... Denied. Not denied. B four O Harbour and Town E eight I. Let's go. There is a di well, kind of a disused track. There's there's the military thing, so you can reverse in that way, and I can't remember if you can slip out that way somehow. Out of the military base. So if you come out of military, which is over here, the problem is at the moment I can't go into military, but there is this here, which is not actually on the map. So it comes out of military and it goes that way into D. You can just see it there. It's like in a light gray color. So in theory, I could go that way, reverse here, and then go out that way. So we could take that. 
It's so subtle, you can't even see it. Oh, don't you tell. But you got rid of my train now. It is on the map, but I don't think it's... I think it needs to change. It's like, look at that. If I go under that light there, it's so incredibly subtle. Like, why does it need to be that colour? Just make it visible. I don't understand. Most players will complete, like, might play for 50 hours and never see that. And, and I don't understand why not. Like, what's so uh, secretive about it? Lamguin, thank you for 16 months. Tom One Pack, thank you for 90 months. Getting close to the 100. Valencia, thank you for a tier 2, 52 months. Right, we need to go that way, and then we need to go. That way. I don't think I'll be going anywhere near the buffer. the magic bit of track there. for that sign to be there. It's a complete... That's got to be a bug. Maybe. Alright, through D, reverse back into B. I wonder if when they do passengers, I wonder if there are people stood here. 
And then we get the train sim world cheesy animations. Well, they will do eventually, yeah. I mean, they've got passenger stations in lots of... Um, sorry, passenger platforms in lots of stations. So they obviously intend to do it. I don't know, Larry, I don't know what mods work and don't work anymore. ETS has bus stops. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> what happened to bus simulator? Mess up the shifting. Yeah, that's the danger with this thing. Okay, we're all set up. Looks like we're going to be hauling this to the harbour at night as well. Hey Chris, have you seen my Steam Loco video? I didn't blow anything up. Why is that like a random car right now? Oh, you do. You, you've got to have your eyes everywhere when you do the steam. <laughs> Brilliant. I like how you can start it when it's not in neutral. I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like it should make you put it in neutral. 
know what I mean? That doesn't seem right. Trying those gears, yeah. Diesel mechanicals for you. I've got a picture of a, a loco just like this that I saw in the engine room at the Lakeside Railway. Indigo, how you doing? Thank you for 13 months, sir. Thank you for seven months, Ollie. Pepper. I think that might be deliberate. Yeah, we'll probably do some steam tomorrow. I'm trying to build up the money reserves. sound amazing. It literally sounds like a not a great truck horn. It's almost like it's almost a tank engine. <laughs> Gordon said. Choo choo. <laughs> Inaccurate marksman, thank you for hitting the mark. 68 months. Diesel trucks or diesel locomotives? Fine noise. You gotta be careful here. You go banging it down here at the bottom is a 30 limit. Diesel locos or something like that, nice.
point should all really be set correctly for the harbour. We should only have to change one of them really. Air show was good. Yeah, I've not been to the Paris Air Show before. It was very hot. It was like 34 Celsius out of the sun. <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty hot all day. We did a lot of walking around, like a lot of it. Watched the show, like the air show twice, saw that twice. On Friday and Saturday. I did end up talking to that streamer. Yeah, he was. He's like a French Twitch streamer, I think. So obviously, I've never heard of him. And he was like going around. He was going around the booths and stuff, and he came. He had like a team of three or four people with him. It was like a mini production. It was weird. He came over, and there was like a guy with lights and audio, another guy with a script or something. <laughs> And he basically interviewed me and then uh, Razvan, the guy who won the competition. And then um, Gabriel, the guy, from, the guy from Daya. And some of it was, it was weird. Like, he'd ask me a question in English. I'd respond in English. And then he'd turn to the camera and translate it to French for his audience. So was, and then when he spoke to Gabriel, he talked to him in French and he'd answer in French. I ain't got a clue what they were saying. Sixty months fuzzball, thank you for five years. What do you mean almost five years? That is five years. Yeah, then they had a um, they had a landing competition thing as well. Like Microsoft Flight Sim landing competition that was being um, run by Aviation Without Borders, the charity. So this big screen. And then the plane would spawn, spawn in, and you had to land on this like dirt track, and obviously land as close to the centre line as possible, as much in the box as possible, and with the lowest kind of feet per minute descent rate. And so I had to go. I think I got third or something. But it was, it was no trim. Which was the most annoying thing about it, the disabled trim just to make it deliberately difficult. <laughs> so you find yourself like pushing the stick forward constantly because you couldn't trim it. Uh, Madanova, thank you for 68 months. There's a limit through here, 30. Shame a bit of speed off. Every day they, uh, the, the winner wants some bag of goodies from the dire stand. I don't know if it's Farnborough next year, Dusty. We really don't know. I haven't checked. Wow. 
look at that. It's a clear night. That's pretty cool. This whole thing needs a lick of paint, doesn't it? Bit of a rust bucket. for a reason. Yeah, but it does the job. You think how much this logo costs to buy and then the money it makes for you is insane. It says Farnborough expected July 24. Interesting. I know as you was leaving the Paris Air Show, it said see you um, June something or the 2025. So that's already planned. I thought I was somewhere else. I've gone. I thought I was turning right near the steel mill. Oh man. I think we can go straight through by looking at it. Okay, looks like we can go straight through. I messed up. I, I thought I thought I was um, down at this section of the map, not here. Mistakes are often made in Deer Valley. Well, Including leaving your lantern behind. That's a common one. I had a good cruise speed going through there as well. Track. The trouble is it's going to set these points incorrectly for the next time I come through here. Wow. 
fine. I'm just going to leave it in that gear because we're about to turn right and climb. This is what I thought it was. Oh, we've got loads of time. This is an accelerating turn. You seem to get a lot of friction when you come up this curve. It really kills the speed of any train you're in. It's not just the gradient, Larry, it's the it's the friction on the track, because it's quite a sharp turn. to buy it you figured out well you could always try it for two hours fuzzball uh, smoky assassin thanks for almost two years i did indeed load is not that heavy. Hundred and sixty one tons. All right, coming in from the west. Right, right. Three rights and a left, straight to eight eye. It's a bit more comfortable. The steam locomotive has a, um, a light here. So that when you sort of stood in the platform, you can look out and see the wheels if they're slipping. And I wish they all had a light on it. It's kind of cool to see.
Beautiful scenery. How much do you still have to go? Well, we are here, just making that turn. Just, just come up there, we're here. We've got gone this level bit here now, and then we'll be going downhill into the harbour. I think I left it in the Discord server. You left what in the Discord server? your sub in the Discord server. What, like a Subway sandwich? Well, some deletes it. Van Blue, thank you for 58 months. Can you do the but I just subbed yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Oh man, coming back from the Lake District, it was a horrendous journey. Nine hours it took me to go from the Lake District to Essex. <laughs> horrendous. But I had a subway sandwich at one of the services. That was nice. Twenty past nine I set out, quarter past six I got to my house. Uh, Tom Sunday, thank you for a hundred and two months. Thank you, sir. Battle Cattle, tier three, ninety-nine months. Glad to be a part of the community. Thank you, Battle Cattle. You are one month away from VIP. You're on a squirrel flight. Nice. Oh, of course it's quicker to fly, but then when there's five of you and two dogs, it's not really possible. <laughs> and all the luggage. I have an Italian BMT sub. Italian BMT on herb and cheese bread, foot long, lettuce, onions, tomatoes, jalapenos, olives, Honey mustard sauce. Not that I always get the same thing every time I go, but there it is. I've worked out what I like. I'd love to try something else on the menu, but I can't bring myself to do it because <laughs> when I order that, I get exactly what I like. So yeah. Well, put it this way, Larry, there was a big queue at the subway I was at, so I would say so. Well, like, you know when you get the Chinese, you order Chinese takeaway, you look at the menu, and sometimes you, you'll order some different things. I kind of like doing that, just so you kind of explore a little bit. But with the subway menu, I just can't bring myself to do it. Uh, no way, Jace. Have you seen how much tickets are? Tickets to Silverstone? No thanks. Uh, 
Are subways better in the UK because they're kind of bad in your part of the States? I don't know, actually. I've never tried one in the States. Yeah, but it wasn't the right kind of nine-hour drive club building. It was, it was the kind of nine-hour drive where you're sat in completely standstill motorway traffic, creeping forward at five miles an hour, stopping, accelerating to 15, braking, stopping, accelerating five. You know what I mean? It was just tedious driving. I don't mind driving nine hours. Just nine hours of that kind of driving is just not my idea of fun. Yeah, yeah, autopilot. It makes it a lot nicer. But you know what it's like when the traffic's like that? You find you need to change lanes sometimes just to kind of keep moving. And uh, you have to keep turning off the autopilot to do it. It was mu The M25 was just chock full. Um, further up the M1, there was traffic. I swear the locomotive looks like it's going that way and then it goes <laughs> every time yeah electric car nah I was nowhere near Sheffield it was up the uh, up the M6 actually not the M1 I think I said the M1 it was the M6 speed down to uh, why don't I get the performance because I wanted the performance <laughs> why not you got model 3 noise It's gone so misty again. Flipping heck, this is horrendous. Exactly, you've got to be faster than the police. That's the entire reason. Well, Hannah, just outside of um, Chelmsford on the A12 right now, ongoing for another year, completely gutting two junctions of the A12, redoing it all. So, as soon as I leave Chelmsford and get on the A12, average speed cameras for like four miles or something, and a lot of traffic. Exactly, Barry, I'm a performance kind of guy. That's what it is. Why on your right shoulder, there is a movie sign and the camera something else appear? I'm not sure, I'm not seeing that. What's on my right shoulder? Every time I go to the harbour, I have to deal with this. What's going on? You should get paid more if you deliver at night under these kind of conditions. There should be a multiplier for night nighttime driving. F2, because outside. But it does depend on the difficulty setting. Uh. 
there's a tree on the track. It's like Railroads Online. <laughs> Speaking of Railroads Online, I can't believe that's been bought by Focus Interactive. Focus Interactive on it now. Don't know what they're going to do with it. So it's almost like they've uh, seen something in it that they want. Complete wheel slide then. Slammed up the anchors too much and just started sliding. It's the wet track. Look at the harbour view, isn't it amazing? Oh, the harbour at night is so good. <laughs> Literally the same weather the last time I came here. to massively overbreak them. Overbreaks and wheels slipped again. It is literally the IMC equivalent of, of being a train driver this. Where we're going, EA time coming in from the west, right, 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 left. Are these massive puddles. Which game's that, Costel? Looks like two steams and a D2. And what's that? Is that another D? That might be a DH4. Oh my god. The visibility is horrendous. I can't even see the yard. It's that bad. I 
You need to go right. Oh my god. That's Unity Engine. Right, 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 then left, I think it was. Dear me. I hope that's correct. Like a glove. Didn't actually try the remote with this. Doesn't pair with it, I don't think. Not. It's a no-go. Uh, thank you for 77, Wakatanko. Mo Lord, thanks for three months. Whiteland, how are you doing? Thank you for 119 months, Whiteland. Next month, actually later this month, is the big one. Thank you for two or three. Uh, what do you want to do? Reverse into neutral. Gearbox back. Handbrake on. Pick up my lantern. Off, I'll go off. All right, let's go get paid. To turn on the lamp, you need to have the lighter, Gordon. So, what you do. If it's extinct, that's how you buy it, right? So what you then do is you get your lighter out. And then you do that. So your lights will start like that. Mouse wheel. Click. Go to your light. Won't let me for some reason. Is it because of where it is? Okay, don't know why it's misbehaving. There we go. And then you can pick that up. Put it down with the R key. You can turn the little dial to make it dimmer or brighter. Well, you buy the lighter from the shop. Pretty much every shop sells the lighter. Like, here's the shop. This lighter, hundred and fifty dollars. Expensive Zippo. There's only one shop that sells it though. Not really. God, it's just ridiculous weather. I think I've gone too far. It's really hard to see where the heck I am right now. There it is. Oh, yeah. $70,000. $70,000. Look at that. What a job that was. And our copay is 2000 Let's go.
That's on 10 grand. What's our current limit? Totals on 16,800. I could, in theory, leave it. Get more out of that. As long as I don't need to buy a license, we can get more out of it. That was a lucky job. How long would you like to sleep for? Uh, let's say... When's sunrise? Yeah, a couple of hours in bed. Ooh! <laughs> I is straight out of my summer car. Oh, I get. I was kind of hoping for better weather, but hey ho. Dear me. Heavy rain at 9 a.m. What is this? What is this weather? It's literally just. Can I just sleep for two days? <laughs> How long do you want to sleep for until the weather goes away? <laughs> Ty, how are you doing? 108 months? Seems like you need a bigger flashlight. I can actually buy a flashlight, but it's $5,000. It's the most expensive flashlight you've ever known. It's because it's solar powered. That's what it is. Let's give this a cheeky save. Seventy K. I got 133 grand now. I've got a feeling there was a DH4 over there. Just gonna go and have a quick look in the shed. Now you can't, Costell. I can't dial any weather settings down. You know why? No, no, it's got a battery in it, but it only charges off solar. It is a DH4. A DH4 has spawned here. Now we've got to go make some decisions. Oh, there's two. Two steams and two DH4s, interesting. I am on a custom difficulty. I'm on realism, except I've allowed a save and I've allowed key bindings and external camera. That's it. Otherwise, all the settings are realism. Which means I can't mess with the weather. Also, that's the furthest I can teleport. Let's see what we got. I did say that in my video, Crisps. Fourteen grand, right? Is there any big, big payouts? That's what we need. Massive payouts. Well, that's a long two. 900 tons. Oh it's a big boy. Hazmat, don't think so. Long one for... Wait, what? 30 grand to take those excavators and unload them. That's, that's ridiculous. 30 grand. And you could do it in a, T a DE2. All empty cars. Wow, a thousand and four. Look, you see? Hull, a thousand and forty four tons up to harbour and town, pays only a bit more than just moving some excavators around the harbour. It's bonkers. Three drops, which means unload 
and then probably two different places to drop your stuff off. 74, now we're talking. I need a hazmat license. 74 grand. Ha ha ha. Fifty-five. That's not bad, but that, oh, look at that! Look at that com Look at that beautiful combo. That is a a combo from heaven. That is. You did a hazmat and a concurrent one, but as long as you can shift seven hundred and fifty tons, you can make a fortune. <laughs> yeah, the trouble with hazmat though is it like it's what it does. What it, what it does to you, you know? Kind of puts your co copay up just like a little bit. Just a little bit. Thirty-eight grand copay. Not to be sniffed at. And we gotta be careful because on Realistic difficulty, your insurance maximum copay is 5 million. So that's going to escalate pretty quickly. If I remember, you can't get long two until you've got something else. Yeah, prerequisites, long one. Oh, I thought there was another one. That puts your copy up 10 grand. That's not terrible. The thing is, if I, if I get the hazmat license right, from then on, we're in the realms of expensiveness. Because right now, the most I can ever fork out is 2,000. Which is very, very comfortable. <laughs> they don't, does on at all. That's why I leave it turned on. I even disabled it at one point. Oh, I've got long one. We have long one already. Like... Got six licenses so far. We can do shunting and we can do D2, DM3, and long one is what we have. I'm leaving it on. I've no intention of turning it off. So that's just rubbish. Wouldn't get out of bed for that. That's a hazmat two. That's never gonna happen. Why would I buy length two though? If I buy long two, I still can't take that without a hazmat. That's not terrible. 38 grand and we already have the license for it. Harbour in town, shunting, rubbish. Wait a minute. That's weird. Look at these two jobs. They both came from the same place. One's got two drop-offs. And one's got three. And yet the difference in price goes from 16 to 30 grand. What's that all about? Uh, Bobinator, thank you for 47 months. Big Bad Mo, thank you for 73. Your whole family and kids love your content. Thank you very much, Moa. Um... 
That's a food factory in town one. Same place, but we need concurrent one to get it. How much does it kill our license again? Four grand. That's not terrible. That puts it up to six. Can a DH4 haul both of those out of the harbour? I don't know. That's what, 580? 580 tons? Ooh, I'm not sure about that. It would be on the limit. I think it would struggle. That's just beautiful, that. And don't forget it's raining, and there's no plans to stop raining, so we'll have a wet track as well. Not going to happen. Hmm. Wait, food factory in town? here. The steel mill is actually on the way. But that weighs a thousand tons, so that's not happening. Yeah, we're not taking that. That being a logistical, that won't just be a straight drop-off. That might be an assembly and then If you go with longer carriages than you should go with two locals. The trouble is, there's two DH4s, but we don't have, currently we don't have multiple unit license, which would chuck our copay up another 5k. So I could get the DH4 license. But it'll chuck our copay up 10 grand. And then if I get the multiple unit, that's a 15 grand copay. On top of the two that we already have, that's 17 grand copay. But it would let you do two DH4s up a hill. So, what do we go for? That would be a struggle for DH4. I don't know if a DM3 can take it. <laughs> More derailing. We could shunt this and get another easy 30 grand. I quite want to travel up to the food factory. So even that, that's on the limit of a DH4. 445 tons. It's like the same as that. I don't think our DH4 is going to haul in this weather. will struggle to get up that slope. You pull 650 out of the harbour in a DM3. In the dry or in the wet. Don't know how long you can sleep for. All the jobs will change if you sleep though, won't they? I think. Do the jobs change when you sleep? They don't change. Hmm.
We can get one more go with that DM3. So I think we'll take that and see if we can haul it. It's going to be a struggle with a DM3 in the wet, but let's find out. And that should max out the uh, copay on that DM3. H2 oh, the eastern route's a nightmare. I mean, th this eastern climb here is brutal. It's worse than that. And then you've got that swirly descent. It's horrible. There it is. FH00. Be set. The only trouble is, the points in the wrong way. I do have the remote now, Phoenix. This one. No. Where's it going? This one. We're good on fuel. We're going to have to reverse back down that way and then turn around at the T-junction. It does have a horn, do you want to hear it? Now admittedly it's it sounds like it's something off a of Toyota Prius, but Thank you. 
obviously a Japanese model. Find one chicken boots. Yeah, they, you're just being unlucky. I've not paid to teleport around yet. I literally said that, Larry. I literally said I'm going to turn around at the T junction. Jaguar, thank you for 42 months. I'm fine, thank you, guitar man. Thank you for 32 months. I mean, if you just want to play around, just start a sandbox game. That's the best thing. If you want to learn a local, just start a sandbox game and spawn what you want to. It sounds a lot like a truck, I think, Ty. I literally did that last time. That's amazing. Oh dear. Fair enough. Our sandbox mode is brilliant. Well, Ty, you could watch my video. <laughs> um, it's not well directly. Yes, this is this particular loco is probably the most connected between the engine and the wheels. Like the transmission goes through like a fluid connector, and so even when you're even when you don't throttle, it creeps like an automatic car. I don't know if this is going to haul out of here. It's going to be very interesting finding out. 455 tons. And we need to do it whilst it's not raining. Because if it rains, I really don't think we'll get out of here.
waits for pups to mention golf. Danny Brooks, thank you for 49 months. Yeah, I'm doing okay, Danny. Thank you. save it just before we uh, try this DM3 madness. Fun with that. I think you're incorrect, sir. I definitely tightened the coupler. It does sound like a brake issue. Brake pressure's on for some reason. Interesting. Andrew, thank you for stopping with Brian. Right. Let's go and get it handed in. No, not yet. C4I, the food factory town. Single drop. Straight into C. It is according to regulations, yeah. The rules are that when you're a solo train driver on a map with nobody else present, you can do what you like. They're the regulations.
This is going to be an interesting climb. I don't know if we'll make it or not. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Oh, one, two, three, sixty-five months. I just going from work. Glad to have you back. Thank you. I did enjoy the lakes. It was very nice. Like I say, I'll dig out the photos and stuff. Uh, I'll try and do it before tomorrow. I'll show you guys some pictures from the trip. Nobody leaves until we made it. <laughs> Nobody leaves the stream until we get this. reasonable run up on it but also cool the engine just before we hit the climb. It's heavy. to hit it now we'll probably end up doing a crawl yeah threads is Mark Zuckerberg's version of Twitter with enhanced data mining. stabilize the temperature and keep the speed that's the question it's not about speed this loco it's about like I don't know, there's a lot of talk on it, but it doesn't go quickly. As long as we can stabilize the temperature, we're okay. The worst climb is to come, though. We're not even in the lowest gear yet, so we're fine. So we keep the speed going, we can avoid the wheel slip. Well, we've got the right weather for the climb.
the produce. May have to drop again. Everybody get out and push. Uh, Blackbird, thank you for 103. Got to watch that ten. This is the worst bit, pretty much. Yeah. The next section is not as steep. That's the worst bit, though. The RPMs will start picking up shortly. Cool off a bit. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. There we go. So we can do it. And that's... 455 tons. We had another gear left. So we could probably do more. As long as you're not in a rush, this thing's great. <laughs> I wouldn't use this on a passenger service, though. scenery issues going on here <laughs> nobody look over the edge I could probably go for a buyer break and this thing will still keep going.
Let's see if we can snag a cup of tea. Uh, we are heading to the food factory. Which is up here. It's a bit of a painful section through there though. We're currently about here. section there the food is downhill but it uh, looks like that quite windy could literally jog alongside it. <laughs> yeah, we are chugging fuel, but once we get to the top of this climb from the steel mill, it's more or less like this this section here is climb till about that T junction. Most of that's flat. And then after here it's downhill through there, downhill through here, downhill through that, all the way down to here. It's literally almost all downhill. Uh, Nuki World, thank you for 23 months. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Captain. Like, that stretch into the food factory, though, it's a windy 30, 30k limit, and it's quite steep. You can find yourself overspeeding quite, quite easily. to stop oversleeping on the weekends. Whoa. It doesn't show my location on the map because I'm on uh, realism difficulty. So I'm supposed to use the compass to figure out where I am. Like, that's north. So I guess you could say I'm probably on that turn now. We should be heading roughly north shortly. Inside the speed limit, yeah, yep. They are a speed limit 
there's the speedometer in kilometers per hour. It, it's more important when you're coming down, or if you're going up in a, in a fast loco. We'll never break the speed limit in this thing going uphill. I think the water looks really good now. You can swim, yeah? Oh yeah, we've been through quite a lot. You'll find yourself coming to the harbour quite a bit. It's the main import-export hub on the map. A lot of industry around the map sends goods from one place to another, assembles stuff and then exports it out the harbour. Nice one, Chaos. That, that is true, Sergeant Kelly. Um, again, it's because of the harbour. A lot of the lucrative stuff is either military or things like hazmat. And they only come in certain places, so... Yeah, I kind of look forward to a bigger map at some point, or maybe if they open it up for mod authors, it'll be a bit like, a bit like um, farm sim, like farm sim. Some of the best maps were done by mod authors, and I think if they open the maps up to modders, we'll get some fantastic stuff. Alcinor, did I say thank you for 47 months? I can't remember. Let's see if we've got enough juice. Yeah, I mean, they've talked about adding AI locomotives and trains onto the map. The biggest problem is, like, to do it, you need a way... Well, you need passing loops, so you need to modify the map. Because there are no passing loops on the map currently. But then you need some kind of signalling communication system. So that you can take a token, go down a certain section of track, and the AI won't come the other way. So there's a lot of stuff required to make that all work. Yeah, 
bit struggling in this gear. That's the problem is like the AI train drivers. You welcome our new AI overlords. Everything is AI at the moment. AI is the current buzzword. I think that's the worst of it over now. Down to half a tank. Uh, thank you, AMH. One this wizard, thank you, 29 months. Top gear is like a massive overdrive gear. See, I don't think that the inside of this cab would be this dark in the middle of the day. I kind of feel like there's an ambient light problem in here. It's a useful loco. Like I say, if you're not in a hurry, it's cheap to buy. But you've got to handle manual gears and you've got to handle a non self lap braking system. right now.
save a bit of fuel now. That's the other thing they changed in uh, Simulator. They recalculate the fuel now. It's based on how much work the engine's doing. So, like, the heavier the load on the back, the more fuel you burn. Andy, lad, have a good one. How is DCS? Really fancy some DCS soon, actually. Do some chopper stuff. about as quick as this thing is comfortable going. Yeah, I'll back in it to play it again. Blow some stuff up. section there. So we're switching around to that section here. I haven't, I've been away Benji. I've been on holiday mate. I've not looked at it. Well, the, the reason it has a maximum speed is because the transmis transmission of the engine are linked so even if I go downhill, the wheels start to spin quicker and quicker and the engine RPM gets higher and higher. And so you've got to keep it under control, otherwise you blow the engine. But you can't free wheel down the hill. It's like now when we're going downhill, that will start to increase at the same rate as this does. There you go climbing already so I have to keep the speed under control otherwise I'll just blow the engine yeah I think the old temperature's bugged there's no way it's at zero celsius it's definitely a bug though So maximum engine brake. Actually, that's not zero, that's 30. But even so, I don't, I don't think it'd be 30. when you're moving. Right, I don't think these are set correctly either. The way this thing sways makes it really difficult to set these switches because it's like bouncing around everywhere. Speed limit, it's fine.
kind of feel like they need to dial it back a bit. It just moves around too much, though. Gonna start picking up speed again shortly. Rain's coming back. Tomang, thank you for some Prime. Right, so we should be around this area now. So we've got to keep left. We've just got to keep going left, basically. <laughs> Sure thing, Elsinore, yeah. 24 hour stream. <laughs> Got you into this and TF2. Noise. Uh, Clutch, thank you for 96 months. Thank you for four months. It's getting misty again. In comes the rain. Maybe it needs to stiffen the suspension. It's way too soft. Way too soft. Was that a flash of lightning or was that something else then? I think there is a climbing section uh, just here. If I remember, it's a climb up there and then it's downhill. So hopefully we've got enough fuel left. track on the left. So let's go left, right, going in.
Yeah, but this thing sways like all the time. Right, gonna make sure going left. See you later, Mickey. Have a good one. left speed's okay Right, 70 on the left, then 60. It doesn't make any sense, it says 70 left and then it immediately says 60. So we should now be here. And that should be a climb coming up. Yeah, there's some a bit of rain going on. Still 60 level. because I dialed down my rain settings to get more frames. Alright, 1.4 climb coming up. left turn at the top of this blind. Uh, Night Owl, thank you for tier 2, mate. Thank you for three years. Happy anniversary. Your girlfriend had a baby girl. Congratulations, dude. Is it yours? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Congrats. No worries. Thank you for three years. Have we got rain as well? This is not fun. Is there a trick to remember the gear progression? Are we going to have to stick a post it note? Probably a post it note. It starts off okay, it goes like 1 1, 
if this is one, that's one. You know what I mean? One, one. Let me think. One, one. One, two. Two, one. Two, two. Then it goes weird. So after two, two, it then goes three, one. Three, two. Two, three. Three, three. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Post to know it is. There you go. There you go. It's post it note that. So th this is on three ones. So the next gear down from this is two two. Well, you, you don't want to be going above 100, so you've got to be careful when you change up and change down. Basically, anything between above 40, you probably want to be changing before you get below 40. You want to change down a gear. But once you're above 80 or 90, that's when you want to be thinking about changing up a gear. But the worst thing is changing down... Like, if you change up too much, you might stall it. If you change down too early, you might blow the engine up. So it's a bit of a... You want to definitely be below 60 before you change down again. And if, But if you get the gear wrong, boom. Fuel's getting low. I think I just changed too early, Bowen. I think. I'm not sure. It went over 100. I think we're maxing out our copay. Our copay's 2,000. We already racked up at like about a 10 grand bill. By the time we finished in this, I reckon we'll have done 25 grand's worth of stuff and we'll only have to pay 2,000, which is pretty efficient. Yeah, they got that from my summer car. That kind of hooking up the hose pipe for fuel. He kind of liked the idea of it in my summer car, so he brought it into the game. As soon as we get around this corner, it'll start going downhill. There's a limit. Hello, Adam. There's a limit to it. wet track there we go we're heading down now minus 1.9 
I think it's 455 tons, something like that. Full engine braking and some brake going on here. I've got to keep it under 30. Red. We're skidding like crazy. Getting like crazy coming through here. Yeah, the sand helps with the Basically, sand creates friction. So if you're on wet track and you're trying to accelerate or you're trying to brake and the wheels start sliding and skidding, you need friction, so you need some sand. Cannot see a thing. Yeah, I've got sand. There's a sand meter there. I've got two thirds sand left, about a uh, third to a quarter of fuel. Yeah, the game's not about speed, it's about control. <laughs> That's what it's all about, control. So the engine braking is trying to slow the wheels down but because of the rain the skidding so I have to put sand down just so that I can actually use engine braking otherwise we just slide all the way down the hill well if you run out of sand then uh, you could be in for some fun that needs to go which I don't know I think that's sea yard ahead isn't it I think we want that one and then that one C4I there we go bingo bingo we made it. That was a tricky little run. I think we've done wheel damage though. I think there was a lot of skidding coming downhill. But 455 tons in the wet with this thing, from the harbour to food factory. That's definitely challenging.
Okay, let's go and see what the damage was. Yeah, Sergeant Kelly, a lot of games are like that. Like Hunter Cole the Wild is like that. Euro Truck is like that. Although the thing about this game is the Copa is what kills you at higher difficulty. Seven grand. Fifty four minutes out of one hundred and eighteen. Not bad. Whoa, twenty six grand in fees. Let's have a look at this. Bear in mind that was from two runs in this thing. Yeah, five grand damage on the wheels. <laughs> All that skidding. Powertrain damage. Look at that. Thirteen grand. 13 grand of powertrain damage. That's insane. I mean, I'm, I am, I do find myself wondering how and when did I cause 24% damage to the powertrain? I don't remember anything particularly happening. I mean, I might have grounded the gears a couple of times on low throttle, but that feels like way too much. That price is times two. Yeah, but the percentage is still, even though the price is times two, the percentage is really high. Like if my copay was pretty, like if I took hazmat one, I would have to pay all of these fees right now. What do you mean the sand? No, 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 the sand, the sand is only 500 and the wheels are, is five grand. It's this I'm worried about, 24% damage to the powertrain. Like, what on earth would you have to do to the powertrain to damage a quarter of it? Yeah, but I was hardly in the red. Like, you literally saw me do it. Luckily, my co pays 2000 So that's all I'll be paying today. Thank you very much. We now have a hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollars. Woo! Save that. Oops. So the most you can sleep is eight hours. Interesting. <laughs> Could do with a pillow. Do you reckon I'll add my summer car stuff here? <laughs> you know what I mean? Press the P key. <laughs> oh, it stopped raining. What's the forecast? Oh, come on, game. How can it keep raining on this much? I swear it just rains all the time. Hang on, let's have a look at what locos are around here.
Is that it? DE2? Two DE2s. Okay. Two DE2s and the D, uh, DM3 that we brought with us. That's all we got. Looks really cool this time of day. Roll 2d6, now 10 for critical hit. That's what happened to my transmission. Roll, roll a crit on it. Wait, how can we see a reflection of the sun, though? What's that about? That's, that's proper weird. What? <laughs> oh, is it a reflection of sun there? That's what it is. It's a reflection of that glass. The sun must be over there somewhere. It's not that light, dude. Look, it's round. <laughs> it's the sun. The sun's coming up there. It's behind the mountain, but the reflection isn't calculating the mountain or the building, so it's just showing you the sun. I need RTX. That's what I need. It's buying an NVIDIA card. Oh, wait. 26 grand. Hazmat 2. That's not going to happen. Okay. Well, that's the one we just brought in. 30 grand to uh, drop it all off. Scrap metal with a long 2 license. 25 grand. You're at the door. You see, she's done it again. She left oil in here, and I have no idea. She's got a random bark in my office. You also notice the remote and flashlight are charging even inside of buildings. Interesting. Uh, Levanquish, thank you for 86 months. D Payne, thank you for two years. November Papa, thank you for almost 100. Um, this is a tricky one. Get some factory, where are we? Because the factory's just down the road. Bit of a shore hop. It might have more interesting stuff down there, though. I never find you get particularly great stuff out of here. 25 grand to go down to the steel mill with 600 tons. That's a lot. That requires a long two license as well. Which puts the old... Uh... Ah, you can't get long two without concurrent one, can you? No, you need long one. I thought that needed concurrent one as well. Did I misremember that? That's 10 grand onto the copay. You never get out with 600 tons anyway. Watch me. <laughs> what about a D2 and a DM3 at the same time? Do you reckon we'll get out then? All the horses. <laughs> Two locomotives. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, all you got to do, if we can break out of that slope, everything else, like that's all downhill, that's a bit of a long climb, but it's nothing too strenuous. But it could be fun. But I would need to get long two to get it. And then connect a DM2 and a D3. Sorry, a D2 and a DM3. It's a tricky one. To that, or we just punt that back to the food factory steel mill, but yeah. Machine factory in town. I think we might have to take that one. 
We'll take that because there's probably more interesting jobs down at the machine factory. Actually, no, I hate going to the machine factory from here. It's horrible. They pay pittance money. Hmm. I don't like any of these jobs, if I'm perfectly honest. And I don't know if I want to get long to yet. What I might do... Is so we go. It's a pity there's not a steam loco here. We could have used that. That'll haul it. Right, so the copay is now 19 grand, and we can take a long two job. So I'm wondering if we can haul that 700 tons down to the steel mill with two locomotives. I don't know if it's possible. I don't think we can manage a DM3 and a DE2 at the same time. Did I... Did save it there, didn't I? If this doesn't work out, we can revert it. No, I don't need multi-license for that. I don't even think multi-license would work. And a DM3 can't take a multi. And two D2s can't do this. There you go, there's the sun. See? It was there all along. You can remote the D2, yeah. That's it. There's <laughs> no way. No way this is going to hold. Shouldn't load for 29 grand. Well, that was that a job? Yeah, you might be right. Even if we can get it up there, it'd take a lot of setup and it might not work. And it's raining, so the track's wet, so everything's pretty much against us. Let me load back into that. Um, the remote has to be charged in the day. Like, if you want to use the remote at night, it'll run on battery. Initializing streaming. Waiting for streaming data. Interesting. Oh, but it's completely reset the jobs. Oh, my God. Interesting. That's a 30 grand shunt. Oh, 
Yeah, that's the one we brought in. So it means a DM3 is probably still attached to it. It's this one here, isn't it? SU05. Wait, let me just check the DM3 still there. <laughs> oh, what is it? Yes. Right, let's make a cheeky 30 grand then. Yeah, I can do it. I only started 20 minutes late, so I'll finish this off. What do you want to do? Uh, unload it at D1L, which is... Okay. Oh, look at that. Scumbag car. Which car is that? I don't know. So you've got to go to D3. We're already in D at that point anyway. So all of that lot need dropping in D3S. And then these want to go over to C1S. And that wants to go to A1S. There is actually a slope down here as well. Which could make it quite interesting. Uh, Johnny, 72 months. Has it been six years? That's a lot of Twitch babies. It is indeed. Thank you for your support. Internal cab light often you see out the window by the time. Like. Not really. It doesn't react to your eyes. I just reloaded the game and still spawned two DE2s. It sucked. Branch to D is that one there, I think. 
So we need to get over here, but it starts to slope downwards in that tunnel. So we're going to have a fun little hill start here. No, they're not anymore. They're all random. There you go. 2.1 gradient. Really steep. This may not push it back up this hill, you know. This may be too much weight for a 2% hill start. Try. There's the cars. How far back was that? Three after the car. Unless it was a 2.1 climb. I thought it was a 2.1% drop. Interesting. I think it is. It's a climb. I got it wrong. That might be past it. scumbag you absolute scumbag oh wait no scumbaggery my train's moving i put the handbrake on and everything <laughs> look at this that's amazing oh my god it's literally just dragging it down the hill <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. It's like the absolute minimum throttle, otherwise I get wheel spin. juice out of it I've only got to get it beyond that signal then we can let it roll keep left There we go. Can let it roll back now. I think it's probably wheel slipping. Yeah, there it is. Look. Ooh. Oh my god. It's like full on. No. Nope. I can't. I can't actually start it because it's in gear and moving. 
D1L has got to go in, I think. That's quite a tricky little shunt. Keep left. Definitely D, wasn't it? Yep. Okay. We got it under control. Yeah, food factories in a basin, like, each direction is just a climb out. It's annoying. And of course it's raining, because why not? So after the unload, D3S for the back cars, which is the other side from the middle. Okay. As soon as you unload, will be uh, a lot easier, a lot lighter. Got another one! <laughs> This loading bay is actually long enough for this train. No, one out goes straight through, look. Look at the map. I'll do. I just love how you can walk like this. Okay, that's going to be a lot easier to handle. Needs to go. Oh, God. 
the 3S has already got stuff on it. I've got to put... Oh, I've got to push that back. I've got to put, like, six cars in there. We have to connect to them and push them back as well. Don't tell me that didn't go past. You scumbag. Evening night. Hey, you never know, Shifty. I believe that's passed. All right, so we need to go down here. the release lever on these. Yeah, sometimes Bigfoot, but usually it's like the same three people who just come in every week. You know what I mean? Just wind it up. Right, let's get back to that. Mean one on the bottom. I'm gonna, I need to push them out of the way. I've got to drop six cars on that track. Oh, are you on about the Myers and McCarthy? Well, it seems a little bit harsh. as I cannot see the back of this train. I think 
maybe it just connected. <laughs> they might as well be just stop oil people. I think we're already pushing them to be honest. They might super glue themselves to the stream, yeah. They might, they might come in and throw jigsaw pieces all over chat. Waste of a good jigsaw, if you ask me. I think that should be enough. Stop those cars from rolling. Right, you two. Okay. So that should be 283, is that one? No, 589. So I've got to do that. One, two, three. Then this, and then the next two. It's that one. That was 745. And that one. Two eight three. Break that bar. Okay. Then we want zero nine four. So the next three you need to go over to C is all the way back there, okay. This is where we want it to go. So we're coming from southwest, C1S is all the way to the right as we go in. The absence of remote control for this thing will do this. No, nope, that's the right way. That's the sea yard there. Oh god, there's even there's still stuff on the 1S line as well.
this. Of course, the handbrake's on at the other end. Of course it is. Yeah, I think it's like 60s kind of time. Okay, what are we dropping off? Three. Okay. That should mean we've got that one left to go to A. A1S. That is a scumbag of a drop. Are you actually kidding me? I have to go, like, round the other side. That is an absolute scumbag drop. That is properly annoying, though. Because I can't just drop it in 1S because it's a siding. I have to, like, push it in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to literally go around via the PAX platforms and then pull it and then push it into the siding. Miss click height. Standard procedure to leave that there, by the way. Right, we need to go through the...
Right, we need to come down that track though, which is 4i, I think. And grab it and pull it back this way. It's more like a logistical hole, this. Uh, Big Bad Bod, thank you for 41 months. Go Army Beat Navy, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome to the house. Total, thank you for 77. Set up for four. Right? That's the one that we just came through, I think. Fine to me. Looks like it's set for four, right? Guess I'm missing something. people co-op of what game? Really deep, eh? That's mad. I shouldn't do that. Awkward scumbag, this one. So we'll just go back out, then go first right, first left. Oh, run 80 talking about. Branch point there.
Right. It's like a right here. Oh, it's not just a medium left. That must be one S there then. That was an absolute faff of a drop. One S, there we go. Disconnect that. I think that's it. I think I put the handbrake on everything. Guess we'll find out. Boom! What do we get? 44 grand. That is a good payday. Eleven and a half grand. Let me have a quick look at the details. Five grand on the wheels. Five grand on the powertrain. <laughs> that was all the sliding. I can understand that. Ten percent damage to the powertrain, though. I don't get this. I don't get how all that damage is happening. I tried to keep it under control. Okay. So here we are at the end of day one. We've got six licenses and we now have 231 grand and still have a 2,000 copay. I think that's quite impressive. Because such a low copay and having that. I think we we'll have to up the ante tomorrow though. We could either go DH4 or S282. But we're going to need some more licenses so we can hold something a bit bigger. Anyway, that's enough for one day, I think. And let's give that a save. Let's go end. Let's say end day one. How's that? Cool. We're done. I don't know, D-Pain. I don't know if it's just normal wear and tear on the transmission, but it's pretty expensive. I think we need to do a session in the DH4 and see what the uh, powertrain damage looks like then. I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed yourself, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out. I uh, appreciate all you guys coming back resubbing. I think we had some gifted subs earlier today as well. From Kieran, Rutiger, Shaw... Appreciate the support. I shall be back tomorrow at uh, 11 a.m. I think it is tomorrow. I'm trying to remember because it's the it's the uh, Silverstone race tomorrow. I just need to make sure what time I'm breaking. I think it's at three, isn't it? The race. I think the race is at three, isn't it? tomorrow i'll double check i think it should be a normal schedule but obviously the the race if it runs late yeah it starts at three so i'll finish just before three and then come back after the race i think it's a two-hour break assuming they don't get red flags and problems you know anyway that's it from me 
thank you for watching, guys. It's good to be back. I'll try and get some pics off my uh, iPhone for tomorrow as well. So we can have a look at some pictures from the trip and from the Paris Air Show. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. I shall see you all tomorrow. If not, enjoy your Sunday. Take it easy, guys. Love you all. Good night.